I've been thinking of you as my little sister. We live together and see each other every day. But I have to admit, those feelings have changed. It's not easy telling you how I really feel. I love you. I can't believe I have brothers now. I hope they like me. Saw that. A look of complete lack of cynicism. She, 13 males, requires suspicion at all times. I know, Julie. That's all you've talked about since you found out I was moving. I mean, what in Pi's name or Rintero and this new mother of yours thinking? Throw you into a barn full of hungry males while they move into a new house together? It doesn't make sense. Sure it does. Dad and Miss Mila are newlyweds. They want a life of their own. It's what people do. Plus, they're both too busy with work. Sure. Now putting you in danger seems like a great idea. Julie, you do realize these people you think are so dangerous are my brothers now. They're still boys bursting with hormones I can't pronounce. And if they even look at you funny, those brothers are going down. We're almost there. Yes. Take me to the battlefield. be our new sister. They're taking your things up to your room. Oh, thanks. My name's Masaomi, and I'm the oldest. And this one's the youngest, Wataru. Hey there. What up, big sis? Uh, hey yourself. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Well, good. We're glad that you're here, too. Oh, these two aren't the pervy scumballs I was expecting, but just you wait. Brace yourself, kiddo. We're moving into a battlefield here. I better fuel up before the others return. And, as long as we're in this house, you don't leave my side. You got that? It's not safe. The fight of our lives is ahead of us. All for one and... Crap. Chief, where did you go? someone's pet. I don't want it to get hurt out there. I know exactly who you are. You play basketball and think we should all worship you because of it. Rintero goes on and on about you like you're some kind of miracle whip. But I ain't fooled. I smell your nasty mind funk. It's full of kink and smut and mess. You keep away from Chi, you hear me? So, yeah, why does it seem like this squirrel hates us? It doesn't. I just think he's excited. back early today. Early, but not by my doing. Ukyo told me to come home. Hm. So that's Iori, the smart, popular one who's good at sports. Hm? I gotta go change, but I'll be there in a bit. Okay, these all going to the kitchen? Yeah. Can you grab some for me? Sure. What is that? It's a squirrel. Whoa. It's running away. This is not running away. This is being the hero. Oh, hello there. Hark, I hear a voice. I'm coming, G! Uh, uh, Give us a welcome home, Hog. It's nice to meet you, sis. Ah! I hit her! Sorry you had to see that. My name's Azusa. Good to have you here. Ow. 
That hurt. Freaky, isn't it? Subaki and I are identical twins. All right, you two. Let's not intimidate her. Good to meet you. My name is... Oh, so you're a high-end bastard. They keep getting better and better. Cool. It's nice to meet you, too. Wow. You're so pretty. Subaki, thought I told you not to bring your game in the house. Well, look who decided to show up. Yeah, I live here, and I don't want to have to watch your makeout sessions. Uh, <laughs> no way! Yes, Kay, hi. Why are you here? Um, because I... Subaki, I suppose this means you didn't inform Yusuke like I asked you. <laughs> Why? Wait, let me guess, you forgot? You know, your tone sounds extremely judgy right now. Look, I did not sign up for this mess. Huh? My classmate, not my sister, got it? Seriously? Why are you being so dramatic, bro? You can't just disown her. Wrong, I do what I want. Use chaos and of course. I should have just known by his last name. No, get off so, me. how you holding up, kid? Do we need to go to the hospital? Your face looks weird. No, I'm okay, really. And at last we meet. You look lovely. If you're ever in the mood for a riveting Buddhist sermon... Kaname, that's gross! Hey, I remember you. Is it too cold in here? Do you want me to turn the air down? Oh, no. It's all right. No, it's not. In fact, it's a little stuffy. Compression of body heat does that. Right, yes. Um, I'm sorry about Julie hurting you earlier. Please, don't worry about it. I can't be mad at him for trying to make new friends. Soon it'll be like he's my pet, too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Watch yourself! This place is lousy with dopes, isn't it? Were you shocked? I mean, that there are so many of us? Yeah, I knew about all of you, but I'm still kind of overwhelmed. It's gonna be super cool having a big sister. Hey, do you want to see a giant bunny? There's one in my room. Come on, I'll show you. Not now, Wataru. Uh, she just got here. Uh... All in good time. And this still isn't all of us, if you can believe it. One is at work, two don't live here, and then there's this guy. Watch. Huh? He's on tour. I was wondering where he went. I knew I hadn't seen him around. Last thing I heard, he was in Hokkaido. Have you ever been there? We'll ask him to bring you a souvenir if you want. Thanks, that'd be nice. Uto is our little rock star brother. All his fans know him as Asakura, though. Can you believe that he's this famous already? At 15? <gasps> That's amazing. But I can believe it. I bet with his many brothers, he needed a way to stand out. And his dad was gone a lot, just like mine. That always made me want to travel. He probably likes being on tour so much. Funny how I feel like I understand him. They seem nice. I hope they stay that way. Are you feeling okay? I'm great. Just got a little dizzy. Gee. <laughs> you don't look that great. You're really burning up. I didn't mean to scare anyone. I really am feeling better. Are you mad at me? Of course not. There's no need to apologize. And fortunately, we have a trained doctor in the house. I'm just a pediatrician, actually. But I can help with whatever you may need. Thank you, that's very kind. Wow, that must be a really cool job. Yeah, too bad he sucks at it. Did he even think to mention that it might be exhaustion? After you were packing all day with no food or sleep? Don't you hate that? Huh? Louis, 
I didn't realize you were home. Yeah. I heard people, like, talking and stuff, so... I told you about Louie. Not sure if you remember. Number eight? Oh, nice to meet you. Sorry about not getting up. I feel rude. Don't sweat it, Chi. It's been a long day. What? Setting sail to a whole new world? And now being surrounded by the natives and learning their language? I bet that would knock anyone out. It's not that bad. Stop the car. Did hipster boy just call you Chi? Your hair. When you're better, I'll have to give you a little makeover. <gasps> oh, Louie is a wonderful hairstylist. Yeah, thanks. That'd be fun. <laughs> How are you doing sitting up? Any dizziness now? Actually, no. I think that SM is working. Great. She should still take it easy for a little while. Maybe some nice rice soup for dinner? Sure. Sound okay? Sounds perfect. Oh, by the way, the plumbing down here needs repairing. So when you go to take a bath later, use the one on the fifth floor. Cool? Have you been up there? I don't think so. But there's a layout of the place on her desk. Oh, thanks. Don't stay up there too long. Good night, and sweet dreams, sis. Earth to Chi, do you copy? It's been such a long time since anyone's been around to tell me good night. Feels like I have family now. It's nice. Hmm? Hurry up. It's been in there forever. It may have been three minutes tops. You can wait five Get minutes. Get out! It's not a chapel. Excuse me? Of course, my God is an expression. You don't actually pray in there. Coming in. I guess this is the norm now. Living here sure will. Look, I get that growing up you had to do a lot of things on your own, match girl style. And now it feels warm and fuzzy like to have more family around to help take care of you. But let's get one thing straight. Remember me? I was your family first, Chief. Don't forget, I'm always gonna have your back. I know. Sorry, did I wake you? Uh, oh, no. Good. Just a little gift from all of us. Wow, thanks, Kaname. That's sweet. Why don't you call me brother? Uh, brother, right. Sounds lovely from your lips. Please, say it for me again. Um, brother? <laughs> Kitty litter, trees. Are you sleepy yet? I'm getting there. Thanks. Will it help if your big brother sleeps next to you? I don't think so. Ah, uh, well, that's too bad. If you get scared or need anything, let me know. I'm always here for you, baby sis. Thank you, that means a lot. Night, my dear. I saw that! For a second, I thought you were going to kiss me. I'm sorry. But you never know. Maybe I'll do that someday. Now I know for sure you're just teasing me. Uh, I mean, you are. Aren't you, Kaname? Sorry, I'm still so fuzzy. Get some rest. We don't need your temperature raising any higher. I couldn't handle being responsible for that. We'll talk again once you're well. And I promise, next time, the kiss won't be at all confusing. Take a bath right now? It's kind of late, isn't it? Yeah. I already got a little bit of sleep, but I think it would help relax me. Wait, you're not going by yourself. Huh? I call bath chaperone. But why? I'm just going upstairs. Guess it's left. What are you doing, silly? You never know what's around the corners in this place. The toilet's over there. So then... The bath is that way. Huh? Uh, hey, what's up? <gasps> is 
Is everything all right? Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, my bad. No, uh, sorry to bother you. That was so awkward. What did I say? You shouldn't be living here with a bunch of random guys. Listen, there's something I've wanted to tell you for a while. Who that? This is hard. We've been together for so long now. Naturally. But lately, I don't know. I can't explain it. Something's changed. You lost? <laughs> when I'm with you, my heart races and my palms start sweating. Also, I don't really know why, but I get so upset when you're with other guys. What? I... I think I love you. And I want you to be mine. <laughs> what do you know? Could have told you they swung that way. Well, yeah, but they're brothers, so they couldn't really be... Hey, what do you think you heard? I, I forgot something in my room. Uh, bye. Someone up here? What's going on? <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. Oh, dear. Your face still looks flushed. Careful. Could be a fever. No, I'm fine, really. Uh, is there something you want to talk about? No, I'm just tired. I know what it is. <laughs> Sleeping in a new place is rough. If you're scared, you can sleep in my bed, huh? Uh, I'm not... Tubaki, come on. You can talk to us about anything. That's what big brothers are for, right? Um, yeah. Gee, you might as well tell them what you heard earlier. No reason to be cagey if they're going to be so open about it. Fine. You have my support no matter what. We're family and I love you. Thanks, I feel better now. Uh, good? But, uh... Yeah, I may have overheard, uh, your... your conversation earlier. Conversation? The one we just had downstairs? Ah, it all makes sense. I'd been suppressing my feelings for so long. I finally had to tell Asusa I'm in love with him. You're what? I hope you're not mad at me. Of course not. It's about time we came out with the truth. Right, Pussycat? <sighs> <clears throat> okay, that's enough. Uh, I'm happy for you both. Good night. <laughs> you guys are hysterical. Best reactions ever. Huh? Subaki's a jerk. We were just doing a read-through of a script. A script? Yep. I always like to rehearse before our gigs. It wasn't real? No, these two jerks are voice actors. You were acting. I thought you were freaks. My bad, fellas. Uh, oh, please forgive me. I interrupted your rehearsal. I'm so sorry. It's cool. We're over it. But I would love to have a female reader if you're interested. It would really help me with my character. Oh, stop. Don't you think she's had enough of that tonight? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You're still on the mend, right? Sorry about that. They're weird. We've all thrown a lot at you today. It's fine. <sighs> Feels like my heart's gonna burst out of my Since we met, I can't stop thinking about you. We can see each other whenever we want. You didn't seem like all of the other girls to me. It's complicated. I know I shouldn't have these feelings. We ensure some surprises along the way. But still, I'm happy to have so many brothers. I hope that one day we can all live together like a real family. Right. One more day of fighting off the horn dog boys in this house, so keep your wits about you. Don't let your guard down, my girl. I keep telling you, they're not horn dogs, and there's no fight. Those boys are my stepbrothers now. Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. Were you able to sleep okay last night? Yes. Thank you for asking. Wow. Did you make all of this yourself, Ukyo? I did, but I tend to be the one in charge of all the cooking. Yum. 
a classic Japanese breakfast, I see. Um, can I help you out with anything? Sure. Do you mind did risers this morning? So I think maybe we only need to get four places ready. Okay. Good morning, sis. How you doing? Very well. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. I'm so happy. This is the best. You get to have breakfast with us from now on, right? Yep. Lucky me. Morning, guys. Yeah. Um, good morning, Subaru. Hey. Well, this is a rare sight. Yusuke got up in time to eat breakfast. Does he have rabies? Oh, Julie. I'm sorry about how Julie's been acting. He's not used to being around guys, so he's anxious. I get it. How about you? Huh? I mean, you suddenly have a bunch of brothers. That's got to make you a little anxious, too. I guess it is weird for me, in a way. But everyone is being really cool. I mean, you're worried about me, and that feels nice. Huh? Don't be stupid. I'm just making conversation. Which was the beginning of this modest record. He had just She's the first girl I've ever seriously had a thing for. I can't accept this. I will never accept this. I won't give up on her! Hello, I'm home. That's strange. No one's here. Someone's here. I can smell the creep. He must be Fudo Asakura. Futo's the 12th son, yeah? Pop star or whatnot. <laughs> Who the hell are you? One of my brother's girlfriends? What? No. I don't know how you managed to get into my house, but surely you didn't actually think you'd get away with breaking and entering. No, I... I can't be breaking and entering if I live in this house, too. So you're the daughter of the man my mother's marrying. Yes, that's right. Expect you. Uh, I guess you're cute in your own way, but you don't look terribly clever to me. Uh, you're an idiot, aren't you? Wow, well, um, I don't think so. But if you're an idiot, how would you know? I mean, unless someone told you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Completely twisted jerk face! I have to say, he was definitely different from the Fudo Asakura I've seen on television. But I think I might have caught him a little off guard, too. It's gotta be strange to wake up to someone you don't know walking around your house. Oh, like any of that is your fault! I know. But I still want to be careful to stay out of everyone's way and not be a bother to them. Uh, welcome back home. You okay? Something wrong? Oh no, please excuse me. <laughs> it's just been a long time since someone said welcome home to me. It was nice to hear. That reminds me, Futo's here. Have you seen him yet? Oh, yeah, we just met. I hope he was polite. I seriously doubt to be able to be here tomorrow with his work and everything, so I told him to at least be sure he found time to come home today. What's tomorrow? Oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't told you about it yet, have I? It should be fun. I'm planning on having a small birthday party for Subaru. Wow, a birthday party for real? It's so sweet of you to do that for him. We don't normally make such a big fuss over each other, but Subaru is going to turn 20, so this year is a special one for him. If there's anything I can do to help you out with getting ready for the party, please let me know. Oh, in that case. <laughs> Are you all right down there, G? I'm okay, just a little antsy. I've been put in charge of making Subaru's birthday cake, so I'm kind of nervous I might mess it up. Jeez, these bags are way heavy. I bet Subaru would be able to carry all this stuff with, like, no problem. Yeah, gotta give him that. He does look strong. He does road work every day on top of training with the basketball team. It's really amazing. <laughs> I didn't realize she noticed. <gasps> Is something the matter, Chi? I thought I heard someone over there a second ago. <sighs> what am I even hiding for? Are you 
okay? You think maybe he's sick? How are you, Chi? That's weird. Julie's the only one who's ever called me Chi before. Thinking what I am, that that is really, really weird? Um, are you alright? Yeah. I'm just silly. I was aiming to sleep on the sofa, but I didn't quite make it. Are you done with work? Uh, I kind of came back for you, or your hair. Huh? You know, today is Subaru's birthday after all. And there's the party. I thought I could, uh, make you look cute. <sighs> what? This guy came back just for that? He's amazing. He really is. I don't know why, but I feel so comfortable and relaxed. Almost done. Well, do you like it? Oh, yes! I love it! Well, in that case, time for the big finish. Uh, crap. I think it's broken. Oh, no. Sorry, I'll go get another one. No, please don't. This is more than enough already. It's been fun. Let me finish. He just wants to make sure the job's done right. He's a professional. I suppose there are times when it's actually worse to decline a favor. <gasps> hey, you. Where's Louie? Oh, he just stepped away. He'll be right back. Ah, great. You gotta be kidding. I asked the salon. They said he'd be right here. He was. Are you in a hurry? Yeah, I don't think so. Like I'm gonna tell some random girl my personal information. Uh, uh, Sorry. I didn't realize something had changed until just now. I mean, who knew you'd wind up being such a beautiful girl, am I right? Beautiful? Hey, so, uh... Yeah, what is it? Just for right now, do you mind if... Well, I forget that you're my stepsister? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you should have seen your face. You thought I was serious. Did you think changing your hairstyle would make you a princess? He's just oh, teasing me. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm at home. Like I already told you, the studio's hair and makeup department has like no sense of style. My big brother Louie's so much better. Okay, fine, I'm coming. <sighs> Man, it totally sucks that Louie isn't here to help me out. See you around, stepsis. You pretty, pretty princess, you. Oh, wow! The cake is so big! It looks delicious. You just get better and better, little lady. It is beautifully made. That's the truth. Almost looks too good to eat. Wow. Thank you all very much. It's awesome! It's the most amazing cake I've ever seen! Now, ever. Otteru, uh, try to remember that Sis made this especially for Subaru, so you should let him be more excited. Understand? Yeah, I get it. I'm sorry about that, Subaru. That's so sweet. What a good brother. Hold on. You mean you made this all by yourself? That's right. And you made it for Subaru? Like just for him? Huh? Well, great. I can't eat it. What? Why not? It's for everyone to eat. No, that's not what this is about. You took the effort to make it. And I feel guilty about not eating it. I want to. But somehow, I just can't. You don't have to. Oh, yeah? So you're not gonna have any, Yusuke? Awesome, I don't mind eating your share of cake, then. What? We are <laughs> talking about a cake that's full of your love, after all. I'll eat every last crumb, I swear. Hey, what are you trying to prove here? Wait, I know. I'm sure it would be so much tastier and friendlier if you fed it to me, right? Come on, do it. I, I don't know. Would you rather me feed you? I'd be perfectly fine with that as well. Let's start with a berry. Here, now say ah oh for me. Um... Cut it out, Subaki! <laughs> That's enough of that. Yes, sir. But I gotta say, it looks like the birthday boy in... Oh, no. Uh, Is something wrong? Don't worry about him. It's not like he's sick, exactly. Well, it's a kind of illness. What? The kind there's no cure for. But, you know, I suffer from the same aching, too. <gasps> and if it's at all possible... I'd prefer to have this particular illness for the rest of my life. Oh, I don't know. Uh... You know you're embarrassing her. Cut it out, Kaname. 
My sincerest apologies. No, it's okay. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something? No, no, ask away. Okay, why did you change your hairstyle? Oh, I didn't do this. Louis offered to change it for me. He said it was for the party. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, it looks really good on you. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I think it's about time. Subaru, blow out your candles. You're serious about this? Yep. I'll take some pictures for you guys. If you're not eating any of this magic, then I'll take it. Back off! This is good cake! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious! Uh, I hope you like it, okay? Thanks. Um, it's really tasty. Isn't that cute? He likes what you made. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so relieved they all liked my cake. This house is too rowdy. True. But it's still fun. You know, like throwing birthday parties for each other. It's just neat. Compared to your dad, yeah. Rintaro was working overseas for almost all of your birthdays. He sent postcards and things. He may not have been here, but I have lots of good memories with dad. Living in a crazy house like this, though, it's exciting. Oh, where's my phone? Did you forget and leave it in the living room? Man, I would have killed for her to make me a cake. It was good. She's got a gift. Happy birthday, kiddo. Turning 20's a pivotal year. It's time to really start stepping up your game on the court. Keep it together. You may be my stepsister now, but that doesn't matter. We can see each other anytime we want. There are no taboos in love, after all. I know I shouldn't have these feelings, but I love you and always will. Of course we love each pop star heartthrob. Oh, hey there, Buto. <laughs> less than pleased that his cover had been blown. Yeah, just take responsibility and rent these for me. I'll be waiting at home. So I rented the DVDs he wanted and made my way back home, where Fudo had even more shocking things to say to me. As punishment, you'll have to do all sorts of things, most of them in your room. <gasps> into your room, who knows what he'll do? But he has a reason to be upset. The punishment stuff's probably just... I've got some movies to watch. Sorry. Wow. You just do what people tell you? Huh? Have a seat. You know what, hon? That thing's hostile. <laughs> Put it away somewhere. All I need's a scratched up face. I'm a pop star in case you forgot. Oh, right. I guess that makes sense. Uh... Are you kidding? Let me out of here, T! T! I can't protect you if I'm inside your bag! I'm really sorry, Julie. Get free! So submissive. One of my favorite qualities in a new acquaintance. Makes you more fun to torment. <gasps> Do something for me. Would you pretty please? We're sitting on my bed together. Most girls would kill for this, but it's so awkward. Hey. Uh-huh? Do you mind if I move closer to your side? It's the angle. I can't see the screen as well from over here. Uh, really? There, that's better. You can cut this tension. 
few days ago, Fruto was a handsome face shining from the TV. And now he's right here. I gotta say, that was incredible. Right? I mean, that last scene. The one where the main character was just lounging around? You don't even have a clue, do you? Non-industry types never do. Acting natural in casual scenes is always the hardest part of the job. I hadn't thought of that. Scenes where all you're doing is walking and sitting. Those are the parts where you see how good someone is. Because if you're faking your way through the simple things, it's transparent. I've been trying to nail it and I've come up short. So, I'll keep practicing until I'm just as good as him. People say pop stars can't act. I don't want to prove them right. But you're never going to please everyone. How insightful. Shut up. Are you making fun of me? It's just that seeing you work so hard to make your dreams come true, I realized I should work toward that, too. I think it's incredible that you've found something to feel so passionate about. In fact, I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> you really are vacuous, aren't you, little girl? Huh? Here I was actually considering letting you off the hook after this, but now... It's hard to believe it didn't catch my attention before. How cute you are. <laughs> You won't mind if I don't call you my sister very much, will you? I guess that's a... <laughs> Yo, you home? They asked me to give you this paperwork for next week's career counseling. Huh? It's open. Uh, I'm coming in. I'm opening the door. Hey, are you in here? Oh, man, you're uh... killing the mood in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Futo, what are you doing? Gentleman never tells, right, sister? You've got it all wrong. We were just in here watching a movie. Let me go. You're going to mess up my hair, you moron. Just shut up. I swear you got to be watched 24-7. Okay, later. Now let's do it again sometime. Did I just tell you to Watch shut it. up? your defenses. Perhaps today's incident will teach you to listen to me. It was weird, but I was just about to stop him before the door opened. <coughs> He's a savage, incapable of reason. Come down. I'm going inside to help Ukyo get dinner ready, with or without you. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, what a headache. That silly girl can be a real pushover sometimes. Greetings, Sir Julie. Guardian of the lovely Lady Chi and noble knight. Well met. And whom do I have the pleasure of addressing down there? Uh. Oh, it, it's you again. Don't sweat it, Chi. It's been a long day. I was wondering how you knew my name for her. So does that mean you can understand what I'm saying? Yep. Hmm. You know what? Hmm? I just had, like, the best idea. What do you say? Care to negotiate? <laughs> a coalition to safeguard Chi? Right. A protective alliance. You and me. Why would I trust you? You're one of the beasts I have my eye on. Because, you know, it's my job as her brother, don't you think? Come on, trust me. We have a gentleman's agreement. Good. Pleasure working with you. This is pointless. I can't choose. Trying to pick which school to go to? Ah! Uh, I mean, hello, what's up? What about you? Have you picked? Well, more or less. So, is there something you wanted from me? Yeah, under Guardian. Oh, yeah. Your old man's been working overseas for a while now, huh? He said he wouldn't be able to make it back until next month for the wedding. Gotcha. So he's pretty much coming back just in time to get hitched. Yeah, I can't wait for him to get back. It feels like forever since I've seen him. Right. It's kind of the same for me and my brother sometimes. For now, why don't you just put Masayomi's name down? I'll ask him to deal with it. What, on my form? He wouldn't mind? Hey, it's no problem. Our parents are getting married, aren't they? We'll all be family soon enough, so no sweat. Of course, you're absolutely right. Oh, I appreciate it, Yusuke. <laughs> hey, no skin off my back, not like it's a big deal. Well, it is a big deal to me. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you back at home. Cool. See ya. Good job, imbecile. Way to dig your own grave. Once her dad marries our mom, she'll be my... Oh, I don't want to think about it. There we go.
go. Now it's official. I know you're busy. Sorry if this is a hassle. No problem at all, little lady. If there's anything else you need, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. That's super sweet of you. You're happy. These parent-teacher conference things, I never thought they were a ton of fun. Far from it. Anyone around to go. It kind of makes me feel... I don't know, is nervous happy a thing? Sure, Chi. Hello, and allow me to thank you for looking after my delinquent of a brother and adorable little sister. Whoa, what are you doing here, Kaname? Masaomi got called away for a medical emergency. And I happened to be free, so he asked me to fill in for him. Wait, why are the four of us in one meeting? No need to take up any more time than necessary. Isn't that right, beautiful? Right. Hmm. My, my. You put the college Suba is going to down as your top choice. Yes, that's right. Did you choose it because Subaru is there? If that's the case, I'll cry. No, it's coincidence. And Yusuke, you <laughs> left your list of preferred colleges blank. You don't want to go to college? I want to go there, too. Which one? I just told you, weren't you listening? I'm going to the same college as her! Please, there's no need to yell. Oh, hi. Late night study session? You got it, and I needed something to help wake me back up. Of course. Good luck. Thank you very much. That really takes me back. I used to do the same when I was a student. Here. Remember, the most important thing is to try and stay healthy. The wedding is coming up soon, after all. We don't want you to catch a cold. You're right. Thank you for the advice. I'm the fourth son in the family. Wait, did you say son? <laughs> Don't let the way he's dressed fool you. Hikaru is eccentric, but still a man. One of our illustrious thirteen. Oh, you're such a pretty, handsome man. Welcome to the clan. Glad you're here. Oh, thank you. It's been interesting. You should have called us. Instead, you pop up in the middle of the night. And how long have you been back in Japan? Well, it's great to see you too, big brother. If you must know, I was sent here on a mission to deliver these. But what are they? <sighs> Your father and I bought these for you. Thank you for giving me the joy of picking out a beautiful dress for a beautiful daughter. With love, Miwa. <laughs> Dress today, yeah? I was thinking we could use colors that complement. Cool? <laughs> that is, of course, if you don't mind. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Finally a girl to dress. It's such a beautiful gown, thank you. I can't believe you had time. It looks amazing on you. I guess it was a smart buy after all, right? You're right. She looks great. Oh, uh, you look absolutely stunning yourself, Miss Miwa. You'll need to stop that Miss Miwa stuff. If it's okay with you, you can call me Mom. I'd like that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 
Give her a little time, honey. I'm sure your dad's right. Whatever you call me, I can't wait to get to know you. We'll talk soon. Okay. Miss Miwa seems really wonderful. And Dad looked so happy. I just wish that Miwa lady would keep better tabs on those mongrel boys she's been not at all raising. Extra cute today. Yes, very fetching indeed. You look so radiant. You've made stealing the spotlight obsolete. You get results when you make the effort, babe. You are a vision of loveliness. That's Louie for you. Expertly done. Thanks. You look so cute, Chi. Yeah. Yo, what it do? Sis, you look like a fairy tale princess. Little man's right. Agreed. In fact, I'd say that we're all rather partial to your new look. Hey. Oh, look. Natsume showed up after all. You jerks did this on purpose, didn't you? Guilty as charged. First impressions ruined. Thank you so much. Could someone explain? I'm kind of lost. This is Natsume, Neonasus's little brother. Technically, we three are triplets. Triplets? Yep. Ozzy and I here are identical twins. Natsume is our fraternal brother from a different, less cool <sighs> egg. That's 13. Now you've met everyone. The Asahina brothers are together again! It's almost overwhelming. We're all going to be part of the same family soon. Dad and Miss Miwa had such a wonderful ceremony. I hope mine's just like that, Chi. It's off the table until way after college. I didn't mean right now, Julie. I wanted to say sorry for earlier. No, I should be the one apologizing to you. In fact, here, it's my business card. It's my personal number. Just give me a call if you need anything. Like if Tsubaki's being a total pain. Okay, thank you very much. You okay? Well, it's just, this is a company that makes a video game series I really like. Wait, does that mean that you're a gamer? Yes, Zombie Hazard totally rules. Well, uh, yeah. Right? It's my fave. I'm addicted. I've beaten all of the games. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to gush like that. The most recent game's definitely the toughest one. If you beat that, you got some skills. Yeah? I always enjoy getting good feedback. Thanks for that. So, would you be interested in playtesting? Of course, can I really do that? Sure, no problem. Look, this might sound like an odd question, but how has Subaru been doing lately? I don't know. Can't say. I only met him recently. I heard he's not doing well. Got dropped as a star. <laughs> You've been around him more than I have. I was just hoping that you might have noticed something. Could it be? Is that what he's feeling bad about? What is it? Huh? Ah, this is work. I gotta take it. Sorry to bother you with brother questions. Natsume Asahina. Well, what'd the art department say? You're kidding. And now, the lovely bride and the charming groom will cut the cake. About what happened on my birthday. Please don't worry uh, about it. Because what happened between us doesn't bother me at all. An accident. Uh, look, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. I don't think you're a pain. 
The things I said, I didn't mean any of it. Please believe me. I do. Okay, I'll see you later then. Are you ready, ladies? Here it comes. <laughs> Congratulations. That settles it. We know who the next bride will be. Maybe I should throw my hat in the ring. Pump the brakes, Tsubaki. Let's leave that for another time. Another time like tomorrow? Now, now. Can we give that a rest? Well, <clears throat> let's make it official, gentlemen. Though the setting may not be the most appropriate. Actually, this setting's perfect, eh? Come on, guys. Let's keep this on track. Shall we share how we feel? Ready, set! <laughs> Man, Tsubaki is such a bastard. Are you ready to have a blast with us today? That was awesome. Can't disagree with the truth. Get your butt over here and toast with us, sweets. But I... well, I didn't do anything. It was all you. I don't think you understand how toasts work. You're here, so you get to toast. Is tea all right? Yes, that's great. Thank you. So, did you have fun? And were you impressed by our riveting performance? Oh, yes. I've never been to anything like this in my entire life. Plus, I love video games, so it was super cool. That's super cool to hear. By the way, do you know when it's going to be released? I don't think it's going to be until sometime next year, but I'll get all the details from Natsume. From Natsume? Yeah. His company is the one who's actually making this game. Hey, you know what? He has the demos of the game. I can get him to send you one if you want me to. What? Are you serious? Just consider it done. Uh, uh... Um, hello. I'm still in the room, you know. Oh, you're still here? <clears throat> anyway, what kind of lame toast can you make with just water and some tea? We have a session this afternoon, <sighs> genius. Besides that, we've got an important audition later, so no alcohol for us. What are you auditioning for? Well, the gig is still top secret, so I can't tell you the title. But the anime that actually got both of us into being voice actors has been greenlit to do a brand new series. They're holding auditions today for the lead role. Both of us isn't entirely accurate. You never would have been influenced to become one yourself. I'm totally accurate. Wait, you're talking about the show that was originally responsible for getting you into voice acting? Whoa, for real? Did I not just tell you this was top secret? You better not say anything to anyone until it's announced. Have you got me? Yeah, I got you. Sounds like a big deal. I sure hope you get the role. Thank you. It's funny, I don't know why, but I have a good feeling about it. And when he says he's got a good feeling, he always gets the part. Sure. Hey, and you're really auditioning for the same role too, Wasusa? <sighs> Technically. Really? But the part I'll most likely be up for isn't the lead. I'm hoping to be cast as his rival. <sighs> That would be so awesome if you got cast to play each other's rivals. I know, right? Tell you what, once we get the roles, you'll be the first to know. Sound good? Wish us luck. Of course. Hey, I'm home. Gee! Was everything okay? I was worried about you since you were with Tsubaki and Yusuke. Don't be silly, I had a blast. Would you mind terribly finishing up for me? I have a really important trial tomorrow, and I still need to prepare for it. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so far, Wataru is the only one who's finished eating. Tsubaki and Azusa both have work, Iori is attending lectures, and Louis is working a late shift. According to the schedule, they should all be taking care of food themselves, too. But they're not home yet, so... Wait, wasn't Yusuke supposed to be with you? He was, but he said he needed to stop by a bookstore to buy study guides. Sounds about right. If he's really planning on attending the same college as you and Subaru, then he's going to have to step up his game significantly. I guess he was more aware of that than I had thought. Honestly, that's a relief. Oh, it's from Fudo. Uh-oh, weirdo pop star alert. The taping for the year-end special's running late, so I'll be staying here overnight. Once I have time, let's watch another movie together, my adorable sis. What did Fudo have to say? Oh, um, it seems his taping session is running late, so he's going to have to stay overnight. One less to cook for. Well, aren't you popular? Who is it? Oh, hello there, Kaname. Hey there, little sis of mine. Um, what's up? Weirdo perverted muck alert! I was planning to have dinner with you tonight, but unfortunately that was only a dream. I'm being forced to dine with a patron and just can't get out of it. Oh, that's okay. I understand. You're so cold. Why can't you be sad? 
I just want to hear a simple call. Oh, you degenerate monkey, stay in your pilot, don't come out! You hung up on him. That bastard doesn't know when to stop! Um, yes, hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, hi, Masaomi. The seemingly harmless oldest. What for? Bad news. I have a long time patient who suddenly took a turn for the worse, so I won't make it back home. But you spent the night up there yesterday, too. Are you sure you'll be okay? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, sorry, I need to go. It looks like Masaomi will be staying late at the hospital again today. Of course. What I don't get is why they're all calling or messaging you. Huh? It's just a little different, because you know, those calls used to come to me. Oh. Well, I'll leave it to you then. How are you? Oh, hi. Welcome back. Um, what's the deal? Where is everybody? It seems they're all coming home late today. I can go ahead and get dinner ready for you, though. Thanks. That'd be great. Thanks for the food. Betcha that one has ADHD. I wonder if he feels as awkward as I do. So right now, the coach has taken me out of the lineup, but I'll get back. I'm going to be in the main lineup again, and when that finally happens, I want you to watch me play. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. I wonder what the... Yes, it's me. For real? I got the part from the audition? That's awesome! <sighs> Wait, no, hold on just a minute. That role should have gone to Subaki. Yeah, but... <sighs> have you already talked to him about the casting? <gasps> That's me. Uh, Tsubaki, wait! Thanks again. I just got the game demo from Natsume. Hey, have you seen Tsubaki today? Yeah, he just walked out the door. Why, did something happen? Hey, I'm back. Huh? What's going on? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just have a weird feeling after seeing Tsubaki and Azusa downstairs. Things seemed a little off, you know? Hey, you don't have to tell me. Those guys seemed a little off to begin with. Check it out. Natsume sent me a demo of the game his company is developing. Ah, the absentee triplet, huh? Panzer of the Dead. Cool. This game is about switching tanks. The goal is to survive a battlefield that happens to be crawling with zombies. So you mean it's gonna give me nightmares? Follow me, Michael. We'll break through the enemy line. All right, Walter. Right behind you. Julie, will you stop it? <laughs> Looks like I screwed up. Don't worry about it. it. It's just a scratch. I just have to go get you some help. You... you really suck at lying. I gotta admit, this is really weird. I'm getting emotional over a silly zombie game. It's Tsubaki and Azusa. They're both so good, and they complement each other. Such is the power of talented voice acting. no matter how many times I try. Why can't I relax? Well, well, someone got here awfully early. Did you have to wait long? No. Great. Check out that guy. Is he hot or what? Yeah, but it looks like he's meeting up with his girlfriend. <gasps> what? Those girls think we're a couple? You seem a little bit flushed. Are you feeling okay? Yes. I'm totally fine. You've been sitting here for a while, so you might as well order something. Please, it's my treat. No, that's not fair. I'm the one who asked you to meet me, so it should be my treat. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. It's always nice when a girl doesn't assume she's eating for free. 
But don't worry, I've got this. Order whatever you want. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have you adjusted to your new world yet? It's been four months, so at this point I think I'm used to most of the quirks. That's good. I'm glad it's going so well. <laughs> now, where do you keep getting stuck? In the desert zone. I beat all the mobs, but didn't gain any levels. Must be why I can't beat the final boss. No matter what I do, I can't manage to defeat him. You've put an awful lot of time into it, but still, you need to go back and level up in the previous zone. Otherwise, you're never going to get past the desert. Yeah, that's what I figured. Do me a favor. Let me know if you can't beat it. If not, we might have to make changes to that. Put a lot of time and energy into playing our product, right? You're our target market. We gotta make sure people can play our games effectively. Otherwise, they aren't gonna sell very well, are they? Yeah, I guess that does make sense. What? Azusa? You should take that. Hey, what's up? Who else would this be? Have I seen Tsubaki? No, not today at least. I have no idea. I haven't talked to him in a while. Why do you ask? You worried about him or something? What the hell is that all about? Is everything okay? Apparently, Tsubaki didn't bother to come home yesterday, which means Azusa is now worried. Hold on. Do you know what's going on at all? Hey, have you seen Tsubaki today? Um, I'm not really sure, but yesterday evening, well, Tsubaki went out and Asusa almost immediately went after him. What do you think might have happened? If I had to guess, I'd say it's the game. What about the game? Maybe I should shut up. Please, tell me. <sighs> the truth is, I heard some shocking news at work. It was about one of their anime shows. What about it? We're a video game company, so a lot of our projects use voice actors. We hear a lot of gossip. Actors always love to talk about casting. Now, it hasn't been officially announced quite yet, which means I can't name the title, but a certain anime is the reason Tsubaki got anime. Right. Tsubaki and Azusa told me they were auditioning for that show. They were really excited about it. I know. And ever since the show was announced online, Tsubaki's been saying he wants to play the lead. And since he's so popular at the moment, we all thought the producer would be into that idea. Then did he get it? This information hasn't been released yet, but I heard Tsubaki didn't end up getting chosen. In the end, they went with someone else. You're kidding! Why not him? Well, a lot goes into the casting process, like how he sounds with other actors. Poor Tsubaki. He wanted that role so badly, too. Yeah, I'm not done with the story, though. Huh? Guess who they gave the part to? When they finally landed on a voice actor for the role, it was Azusa. It was? Azusa told me he was auditioning for a different role, though. It's not unusual to see casting upsets like that. Actually, it's more normal than not. But the two of them are brothers. And if it's a role that has a special meaning for Tsubaki, I don't know, it just shouldn't be that easy to rationalize. And I'm sympathetic to that, I am. I'm only trying to say that it's not worth agonizing over. Look, he's been cast, so it's his job as a professional to take on the role. Anyway, they'll work it out. The last thing they need is a new sister worrying about them all the time. Nothing manly about that, right? I feel bad having you walk- And I don't mind. On top of that, it's dark. If something happened to you and my mother found out I forced you to walk alone, she would kill me. The city is in Christmas mode already. That it is. Do you have any plans? No, not really. A pretty high school girl with no holiday parties to attend? What's the world coming to? Then what about you? Do you have any plans? Are you serious? Tis the season, right? We toy companies make our biggest profits now. I wish I could take time off, but with it being so busy, there's no way. No personal plans for you either? Who sounds lonely now? Ah, touche. Hey, listen. Do you always wear your hair up in a ponytail like that? What? Ponytail? Oh, I guess for the most part I do wear it up. I see. Then here. <sighs> It's a bit early for Christmas. However, since I won't see you day of, I want you to take this in lieu of an actual gift. Look, it fits. No, really? It's for the poor high school girl with no plans. From the poor toy company man with no plans. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I'll catch you later, kid. I gotta head home. Can't afford to get sick and miss any work. back home. What are you doing sitting out here? Just felt like it. I couldn't manage to relax in my room. 
But if you catch a cold, it'll affect your work, won't it? Well, it's not like I have a project I need to worry about. But I thought you were cast in that anime. <gasps> you heard from Natsume, yeah? Yes, and, um, congrats. And I'm sorry. Don't be. It doesn't really matter. I never wanted that role anyway. I'm gonna turn it down. Huh? I just can't. There's no way I can take it. You sure you want to do that? Even if it is for Tsubaki's sake. Turning down a role in deference to someone else, that could hurt your career. No one asked you, did they? So stop talking. That role belongs to Tsubaki. Yes, but... Look, he's been cast, so it's his job as a professional to take on the role. You were the one who was cast, Azusa. <laughs> you know how significant that is. Besides that, I like your voice a lot. So I think... Well, I... I think you'd be great no matter what. You should do it. That's enough! I don't care what anyone says, I will not play that role. There's no way I could ever accept it, so I'm turning it down. I'll refuse to do it. After that... You turn it down, and you're right, and Tsubaki somehow ends up getting cast. How do I put this? Well, do you think Tsubaki would be happy getting the role that way? <gasps> yeah, I do! Well, you're wrong, stupid. <gasps> Tsubaki! Tsubaki? Oh, man. Can you believe I spent the whole night awake knowing you'd refuse them and trying to figure out a way to talk you into accepting it? I was gonna come in at the end, set you straight, and wind up being the hero. But this little lady kind of stole my thunder, huh? <sighs> Azusa, do it for me. Please, man. I don't want it to go to anyone else. You know I'm your number one fan. There's no way you can turn me down. I want to hear you voice it. Will you let me hear that role in your voice? Will you do that for me? Ah, oh, jeez. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks, man. Thanks. I swear, I'll do my best to make you proud. Okay. <laughs> As if I would let you get away with a half-assed performance, bro. <laughs> so, think you swear on it? Go on, call your manager and tell him. You know, before it's too late. Right, I'm on it. Hey, you. Want to keep me company since I'm all bummed? Yeah, to be honest, I'm really disappointed. I mean, like, who wouldn't be, you know? I was the one who first wanted to become a voice actor. And if it weren't for me, Azusa wouldn't have been dragged into it to begin with. Somewhere along the way, he surpassed me. It's always been like that between the two of us, you know? Azusa comes out on top, no matter what we do. <sighs> We're supposedly from the same egg, right? So how come he's such a better actor? I can see it. The best actor for the role was Azusa. And I think knowing that is what... What disappoints me. It's understandable. That reminds me. Huh? There's something that I wanted to ask you. Uh... What you said just a minute ago. About Azusa and how much you like his voice. Well, what about me? Of course, I love your voice. I'm not an expert, though. I mean, regarding acting and how all that works. But I don't think it's about who's better. I guess I just think you should stay true to you, Tsubaki. Because there are sure to be roles that only you can play, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. What do I know? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> For a depressed boy to get back on his feet and feel good again, what helps him more than anything is a kiss from a pretty girl like you. <sighs> hey, so by the way, this has kind of been bothering me for a bit now. What? I usually like your style, but that's a guy's scarf. Uh... It's just the design. I don't know, it's... well, it's kind of my style, actually.
At first, I thought of you as a younger sister. <laughs> it's only gonna be us tonight. Well, only us, including Subaru. Wanna go out to eat instead? Did you say we're eating out? At a restaurant? I don't know. Most restaurants are fairly lame. Then I have some! Yay, cherry blossoms! Let's have a picnic! Let's have a picnic! Let's That's have a picnic! That's fine by me. Yeah. A Let's night viewing a of cherry blossoms. It doesn't sound bad. I'd like to go, but what about Subaru? Oh, it'll be fine. I'll let him know. Don't you worry. And I guess, while I'm at it, I might as well give Natsume a call. Are you guys serious? We can go? <laughs> yes, I think we're all in agreement that we can. I can make some fried chicken for the picnic, too. Yay! We're gonna have a picnic! We're gonna have fried chicken! We're fried chicken would make the whole night more delicious, so I gotta say, yeah, we should probably do that. For God's sake, don't forget the beer. right now? Absolutely not. Oh good, we're all having a picnic under the cherry blossom, so I'll just tell everyone you're on your way, cool? Guess I'll go, even though I just went and saw the cherry blossoms with people from work. Why do I always let him talk me into this crap? It's nice seeing her look so happy. Oh, hey Natsume. Welcome to the picnic! It took you long enough. Long enough for that disaster, it seems. How long have you all been drinking exactly? I'll take on the sorrow, give me pain tomorrow, I don't... Don't be a downer. You never get to do this stuff. Why don't you try to have some fun? It's not our fault that you don't get any social interaction. You wanted to move out. Oh, shut up. I get plenty of interaction. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'm totally single. Jeez, we're all exactly the same age, but him? It's like a teenager. Well, there always has to be one bad apple in the bunch, am I right? Here you go, Natsume. Did you want some? Yeah, thanks. I realize you're busy. I hope this picnic wasn't a big hassle. Nah. Help yourself. Everything except for this we just picked up pre-made. It's so good! Sis made the fried chicken thanks. herself! Okay, what are you looking at me like that for? I like it. Well, that's a relief. I was starting to get worried. You could have texted me. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Drink run. We were getting low, so I offered to restock. No problem. I can help you. Oh! No, you don't have to. I'm sure you must be tired from practice. I'm good. Plus, you could probably use a hand. Where's your little sidekick? I don't hear any hissing. Oh, you mean Julie? <laughs> well, funny story. <laughs> Are you all right? I can't believe you're alone with those thugs! This is the worst time in the world to be stuck with a bout of food poisoning! Talk about your big-time screw-ups, Julie! Oh. Isn't it heavy? Nope. I said the other day. Oh, that. My next game. I really do want you to come see it. I don't know. I guess I want to win in front of you. Hey, 
Hey, Natsume, are you drinking or what? We got more coming, so we better get rid of these. Come on. You I'm know cutting you, you off, Shibaka. You've had too much. Oh, hey, Subaru. Huh? And what's the big idea? Why are you guys showing up together? Tell me it's a coincidence. Yes, of course it's a coincidence. Um, guys, where's Wataru? Hey, that's a good question. He was here just a second ago. <laughs> Hello, Ducky! Quack, quack, quack! Quack, quack, quack! Quack, quack, quack! Oh, no! <laughs> Are you asleep, Mr. Ducky? Quack, quack! Here we go. Heave ho! Oh. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Aw, oh, Natsume, look, you got all wet. Why'd you want to jump in the water for? Come on, didn't you know? Natsume loves to go swimming. For real? Yep, for real. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Subaki, that's enough. Are you all right, Natsume? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think a handkerchief is gonna be much help for you. Yeah, me either. Was it really a coincidence then? Huh? Running into Subaru on your way to get more drinks. Oh. Yes, it was. Of course it was. Uh, Natsume? Subaki's real sorry he pulled that crap on you. Yeah, yeah. No big deal, I guess. Hey, on the bright side, you are literally a tall drink of water now. <laughs> you can shower at our place before you go home. Yeah, I think I'll do that then. Wataru, did you get wet at all? Nope. I'm not like Natsume. I don't want to swim in a pond. <laughs> that's a very smart decision. You mean Natsume's not smart? No, that's not what I meant. So, Subaru, I read the Basketball Monthly, too. It's saying that you've lost your form. This is a crucial time. What the hell's going on with you? Look, Natsume, you have no idea what it's like on my team. I don't want to hear it. Cleaned up. Hey, did you already sweep up all the flowers out here? Just now. So you're the reason this area is always clean. What's up, guys? Oh, hey, Yori. How's your day going? Something wrong? Nothing. I just felt bad because he beat me to sweep up out here. Don't feel bad. Sweeping is what Subaru is supposed to do. What? We're not sexist. All the guys have chores we do around here. Really? Even those beautiful flower beds? Even those. That's actually my job. Wow, I had no idea. You're good. They always have the most gorgeous flowers. Wait a minute. When I first moved in here, and I was in bed sick, someone gave me flowers. I thought they were from everyone, but did you arrange them for me? Yeah, that was me. You did? Thank you so much. That was really sweet of you. I thought that you might like them. It sounds like I was right. I felt awful, but they cheered me up. Then, here. <gasps> Don't you know in flower language a red tulip is a declaration of love? Who did it? Who do I gotta fight this time? It was Iori, but calm down. It's a flower, not an insult. You're wrong! The males in this house flashing their mating rituals at you is in fact a huge insult! Please, just let it go, Julie. I did have a feast tonight to make up for the cherry blossom picnic fiasco. Sounds good. 
but I don't know how to cut this. I've never handled such a big piece of meat before. Oh, don't worry. I can take care of this. Well, um, I think I can probably do it if you don't mind showing me how. Light pressure with your left hand to hold it still, then just follow the grain. Easy for me to say, right? I don't know, it's kind of hard to put into words. Excuse me for just a minute. It's like this. <sighs> hold the meat here. And the knife here. That makes sense? See? Once you can get the hang of it, there's not that much to it. Now, what are you two doing fooling around in here? <gasps> Hikaru! You scared me! How long have you been there? There's no need to worry. I won't tell anyone your little secret. They won't hear you were fooling around in the kitchen from me. Wait, what are you talking about? We weren't doing anything even close to fooling around. Then by all means, explain. You were holding her hand, am I right? I saw the back of your neck was flushed. What do you think that was about? Uh, I should have known! Lawyers can never be trusted! Julie! First the red tulip and now this! You damn brothers are unbelievable! Impressive. You're attended by an exceedingly valiant knight princess. He's damn right I'm your knight, Chi, because if I wasn't, no one else would be for tech time. I keep telling you, I don't need to have a knight. Do too? You need me bad! Hey, what's that on your calendar? What? Oh, that. It's the day of Subaru's next game. And you're going? Are you planning on cheering for him? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not! I forbid you to cheer! And why's that? It's pretty normal to cheer on your own family, silly. Look, Natsume, you have no idea what it's like on my team. I don't want to hear it. If I left now, I could make it. We're only down by one. Coach didn't even put Subaru in, damn it. This is pointless. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Surprise, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, likewise. You by yourself? I didn't know you liked basketball. Oh, well, the truth is Subaru invited me to come watch him. That's interesting. Wonder why he asked you here and not us. Huh, I didn't think to ask him. Meiji University player substitution, number seven Yamada being replaced by number 14 Asahina. <laughs> Go Subaru! Come on, Natsume, cheer him on with me. I don't cheer. He lost his form, but he looks just fine to me. Holy cow.
Wow, I still can't believe he made that shot. If it weren't for Subaru, they wouldn't have won the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I really don't know a lot about basketball. I may not be right. Oh, no, you're right. And there's no need to apologize for being excited. Uh-oh, looks like we might be in for some rain. You want a ride? My car's parked nearby. Uh Why are you being ridiculous? You'd rather get wet? No, guess not. We've got to take this. It's business. You mind hanging out here for just a bit longer? Yes, this is Asahina. Hey! Subaru! Did you watch me? I did. You were amazing. Because you were here. Because you watched the game. You're why I played so well again. I I'm sure that's not... Um... So, hey. I have something that I want to ask you about. Okay. It's just... Um... Do you have, like, a boyfriend or whatever? I need to know. No, but I don't get why that's important. Well, the thing is... I kind of... I don't know how to say this, but I, I want you, I need you, to be with me. Uh. Subaru. Huh? Not to me. Thing, why are you out here? Why aren't you with your teammates, celebrating your big win? You should be with your team manager, and with your coach, thanking them. Yeah, I know that. Don't lose your head just because you had one good game. Focus, man. This is only round two. You can't even celebrate anything yet. Get your butt back in there. Save all this drama. You can waste your time with that stuff when you're great. And you're not great yet. I don't have to take this from some loser who gave up on the game. You may not have to, but you will. Because even as a loser, I never pull this crap. So how about it? You going out with Subaru or what? I don't... I don't know what's going on anymore. I mean... He's my brother. This is so confusing. More importantly, what the heck are you doing here in the first place? I hadn't planned on being the one who needed to come to school today. But I didn't have much of a choice. Masaomi, Ukyo, and Kaname all claim to be too busy to make it in time. Apparently, I'm fourth in line to play your guardian. You're our guardian? For what? Azusa, come on. You're sort of confusing us here, dude. I don't get what's confusing about this. Um, maybe give us a hint? <laughs> what the hell? Surprise. Does it make more sense now? He's here. Isn't that Udo Asakura? No way! How is he in it? It's Buto! Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me, man! Hey, good morning, guys. I am super psyched about my first day at Hinode High. My name's Futo Asahina. I should be in the roster here. They're right there. Uh, why do I have the feeling something really bad is about to happen? Jeez! Please stay safe! shocked as I was, or did you know Fudo decided to come here? You kidding? I had no clue this was gonna go down. Man, as if being related to a pop star isn't punishment enough. Sometimes I really hate that smarmy jerkwad. No, you don't. This is Fudo's first day of high school, so why don't we partner up to show him around and stuff? It might not be what we wanted, but at least we're almost out of this place. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. Speaking of what we want, didn't you go to Subaru's game the other day? How'd that go? It's not really my business, but ever since then, things have seemed a bit off. 
way you act around each other, it's different. Oh? So how about it? Are you going out with Subaru or what? Hey, you all right? Of course. Everything is fine. I think I'll go check on things at the auditorium. Oh, cool. Right on. Everything is fine. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do. What's wrong? Are you okay? Fudo? Uh, I think he just dozed off. Uh, no, we shouldn't. We can't. Uh, He's no. talking in his sleep. Stop it. If you do that, I lose my self-control. It's not right. Fine, then grab the whipped cream. I don't think I want to know what he's dreaming about. But it kind of looks like it hurts. You're my sister. Huh? No, we can't do that. Hey, Fudo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, was my acting convincing? Wait, you were just acting? Aren't you supposed to be at the entrance ceremony? It was Snore City, so I left. But running into you out here beneath the tree's shade was definitely a happy accident. Say, did you notice? I've been getting taller recently. You know what that means? Huh? Now I can do this. <gasps> Much better for my leading ladies, don't you think? I guess so. You want to run, now's your chance. So, you're not going to run, huh? I love anticipation. Your school life is about to get 50 shades more exciting than it ever was before I showed up, my dear. Now then, better get back before I'm missed. See you later, if you're lucky. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't think it was funny. You have any idea what a shock it was? Gee. Futo must have had his reasons for keeping it under wraps. Plus, he's always loved to make a grand entrance. Asusa showed up looking so handsome, too. The whole situation was overwhelming. Apologies. It never occurred to me that you and Yusuke had been left in the dark about it. Masaomi, what you got? Have a look. Photos our newest family member took during the entrance ceremony. Nice. That's a pretty good shot. Hey, little sis, I'll be your artist's model anytime. If it's just you, me, and the camera, I can go nude as long as it stays full. I want to look at the picture she took too, Kaname! Let me have a turn! Uh, Come on, it's my turn to see the pictures on her camera, Don't break it. Yay! I'm gonna go cuddle with Julian and look at him. I hate to say this, but we really needed a girl around for this stuff. Without Mom here these days, no one thinks to take pictures of Fudo's first day of high school, or very much else for that matter. I always keep that camera with me. I was thinking about printing some of them out and giving them to you, along with wedding and cherry blossom picnic photos. Perfect. I think that's a great idea. We should put some of them up in here. What? You really want to? Absolutely. We should have some of Mom's old frames lying around this place. I'll start looking for them. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, a little dusty, but... Wow. And take a look at what else I found lying around in here. The party's here, guys. Well, well, well. Looks like you already started without me. Are we having fun? Yeah. Welcome home. We found photo albums. Aww. How cute. Is that you holding baby Yusuke? Yep, that's right. <laughs> What else do you have in there? What about me? Show my pictures! I think all our photos of you are in this album. Hey, there aren't very many pictures of me. You haven't been alive long enough to have that many taken. Huh, there's not... Back when Subaru was younger, those two kids were practically inseparable. Really? I had no idea. 
What's this? It was just loose between the pages. Is that Tsubaki? No, I think it's Azusa. We don't have too many pictures of him. Alone, that is. Growing up, Tsubaki and Azusa were stuck together like glue. You're the one who took this, aren't you, Tsubaki? See? It's blurred. That's why it wasn't kept in the sleeves. Hey, I was a kid. I guess Mom couldn't bring herself to throw it away. Oh, come on. Maybe I was being artistic. It's got a certain style to it. Oh, I like it. After all, I don't have too many photos of myself from when I was little, let alone enough for an album. I admit, I'm a little jealous. Must be nice. I hope we can pack more albums full of happy memories like these. Do you want to keep it? That photo of me? Uh, huh? Oh, that wasn't what you meant, was it? Sorry if I made things weird. No, I'd like that. But is it really okay for me to keep it? Of course it is. If you want it, then it's yours. <laughs> what do we have here? Are you trying to steal her heart? What? No, man, you're demented. Azusa, you sly old dog. <laughs> Well, good night. Don't let him bite. Hey, so listen. Just so you know, I'm not backing down when it comes to her. Not for anybody in the world. Not even for you, Azusa. Do you understand? <sighs> Very well, then. Pretty chipper, Chi. Yeah, I am. Growing up alone, I never had any siblings, much less pictures of them as kids. It just makes us feel more like a family. <sighs> That's nice. Just don't stay up too late. some leek and tofu miso soup for dinner tonight. Why are you here? I do like to come home every once in a while. Plus, I have something I need to drop off. Why are they just standing there outside? None of your business. Look, I know you're holding crap I did in the past against me. But I don't know what I'm supposed to say that's going to change that. And the problem you've got right now, you did to yourself. If you plan on seriously pursuing basketball, you need to give it your full focus. Don't let unnecessary things distract you. Unnecessary things? What do you know about who I am? And what the hell makes you think I care at all what you have to say about me? Maybe what you're really saying has less to do with me and more to do with her. actually here to give you this. See? A sample of our new game. Nice. Thank you, Natsume. And about what Subaru said, don't worry about it. He's just a bit upset. Oh, right. I figured as much. Well, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I appreciate you making this less awkward than it could be. Thank you. Remember, if you need anything, just call me. <sighs> what are you sighing about? I take it you were in the backyard checking on your garden? Yep, checking and watering. Forget that. Is something wrong? Yeah, it's Subaru and Natsume. Bit of drama between those two? Don't worry about them. In the end, they're brothers. I suppose. Come on, smile. Smile and I promise to bring you some more beautiful flowers. It's a deal. Oh, hi, Azusa. I'm glad I got you. Do you have just a second? Yeah, sure. Just let me get the door. Oh, I wanted to come by and give you a little something. It's not much, but I thought you might like it. Huh? It's a book. A photo album. You told us you'd never had one of your own, right? So I wanted to give you this one. That was sweet. It's a thank you gift. Consider it a token of my appreciation. For what? 
That anime project. We're really starting to pick up some steam. Oh, that's really awesome. I know I made you stress out about all of it. I just wanted to thank you and apologize. You didn't need to. I didn't do anything special. No. If you hadn't talked with me, I would have turned down a great opportunity. Or worse, I might have ended up hurting you. Things might not have worked out the way they did. We owe you so much. If you say so. But I should be thanking you. It was very thoughtful to give me this album. <sighs> Come to think of it, this is the first time we've talked like this without my shadow lingering about. That's the hard thing about having an identical twin. <laughs> and it's not like we haven't had time to get to know each other. I mean, we've already been living together for a while. There's something about Azusa. Whenever I talk with him, it just feels so easy. I wonder if this is what having an older brother is supposed to be like. Hey man, sorry to call so late. I didn't mean to make you worry. Figured the least I could do is talk with you myself, fill you in on some of the details. Well, aren't we considerate? I'm glad you guys work things out so amicably. Are you sure you're okay with this, though? Because you should know, they greenlit a game based on the show. Don't want you overworked. Hey, I make no promises here. Huh. Gotta say I'm kinda surprised. I thought for sure you'd have turned down that role. Yeah, I have her to thank for it, too. Her? Wait a minute, did something happen? A bit of this and that. Ah, oh, jeez, I told her to let you guys handle it. She was just helping. Anyone but Tsubaki before. Is that a fact? I feel like I've listened to your attempts at advice at least once or twice before. Now you're confused. I don't give advice. <laughs> hey, is it just me? Or have you guys done a little growing up? What? I don't know. You guys just seem a little different is all. Especially compared to when I moved out of the condo. I'm just wondering if it's because of her. Well, is that it? No. I mean, that would be weird, wouldn't it? sleep? You mind if I join you? Uh, let me get this stuff out of your way so you can work on your new script. You're treating that photo with an awful lot of care. No, it's just that it should go in the family album. So that's the only reason? You wouldn't lie to me, right? Huh? Can't you understand? I need you, damn it! Uh, I apologize for the way I acted before. I was selfish, and my selfishness hurt you. But time stopped the first time I kissed you. And scene. Just wanted to run a few lines. Uh, oh, right. What cliched, hackneyed crap, huh? No, you know what? I won't pretend. I won't lie. I meant that kiss. It wasn't a mistake or a spur-of-the-moment thing. And those aren't lines from a script. Here, let me prove it. you're working on or did you forget there must be something going around because you forgot i won't give her up not even for you azusa yeah you told me that means you're doing this on purpose yes that's right i am doing this on purpose 
Why don't you go to your room, okay? There's been quite enough excitement for one night. Yeah, whatever. Just forget it. Subaki? Good night. Don't even bother. You're too stupid for her. You're nothing of you. You'll have to choose one of us eventually, so hurry up and decide. I'll wait for you as long as it takes. Wow, who'd have thought we Okay, no more. Hey! Look, I'm really sorry, but if you make me watch that garbage again, I'm gonna puke in my mouth. What? But Foo's like super cool. And everyone at school thinks I'm the greatest because I'm his little brother. They're totally jealous. Well, then they're all stupid. Yeah, but this commercial has been pretty successful, right? That's true. And he's real popular with older women. It's like they can't keep their hands off him. Pan Pacific took a risk with Futo. What makes you say that? They've done lots of commercials before, but they've never hired a celebrity to be the face of their brand. He really is something else. Indeed he is. The gamble paid off, though, because the new Caledonia Resort, where the commercial was shot, has been selling like crazy. Wow, that's amazing. Lame. It's not like the dude landed on the moon or anything. <laughs> Look out, everybody. Bitter party of one. <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Yusuke. Huh? Cut the crap. Your Fudo's older brother, the least you could do is pretend to be happy for him. Yeah, whatever. Hey, guys! Look how pretty that water is! We ought to take a family vacation! To New Calorie Resort! That's not a place. You mean New Caledonia. Hey, sis. We could go just- I think I'm good. Guys, why not go overseas? All of us. Huh? 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 Wow! Really? New Curry Resort? Here we come! So, you mean the entire family? Mm-hmm. Summer break is right around the corner. Hey, tell us what you think. You are the one I aim to please, after all. <gasps> I'm sure you have exams to think about. But, you know, sometimes a break is exactly what the mind needs. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, what's the deal? How do you feel about the trip thing? Huh? Come on, Masaomi's whole vacation idea. You in? Oh, yeah. Well, I would like to go, but I have my exams. Mm. But you know, when you really think about it, a little R&R &R in paradise could be a good way to clear our heads. Speaking of, nobody thought to ask, do you have a passport? Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Ukyo, he can help. And then you and I'll be paradise bound. Yeah, that's true. It'll be fun. Hmm. Resorts are usually near a beach. Which means she'd be... <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't my idiot brother. <laughs> Buto! Don't pretend like I didn't just catch you perving out, you creep. You should be ashamed of yourself. Dude, shut your hole. Tell me I'm wrong. Because when I walked up, I'm pretty sure you were checking out our sis's backside. <gasps> Are you deaf? Because I just told you to shut it! Hey, look. Is that Buto Asakura? Whoa, that is him. <laughs> Hmm. Not nice to beat up on a national treasure. Relax, big bro. <laughs> Futo, is that really your older brother? Yep. I look up to this guy more than anyone else. <laughs> well, best of luck with your exams, buddy. Don't fail. The Culture Festival is next month, guys, but I promise it'll be here before you know it. And we still haven't even decided what our class project's gonna be. This will be your last Culture Fest, so if I were in your shoes, I'd want to make it count. Be sure to pick something you'll be proud of when it's all said and done. Wow, I can't believe this is our last one. Time flies. What was that, Yusuke? Do you have an idea to share? Oh, well, uh, not really, no. We could do a cafe. That might be rad. Great idea. Not bad. What's up? I like the idea, but we can't just do a regular boring cafe. I say we spice things up a little bit. Here's an idea. We'll do a butler cafe instead! Oh, great.
great. I was worried she was gonna say that. We're screwed. Votes are in, everybody. The Butler Cafe wins the day. Yay! Man, this sucks. Any car wash idea didn't stand a chance. Hey, you're Fujo's big brother, right? Huh? We won that vote fair and square, so get your costume ready. <laughs> what the heck does my little brother have to do with this? I think this will be a really fun thing to do. Yeah. A butler cafe. Sounds interesting. And by interesting, you mean dumb, right? There's one thing I don't understand. Aren't butler cafes staffed with guys? Yes. The guys serve while we work in the kitchen. Oh. Well, if you're making the tea, then I'll be there. Your tea is the best tea, sis. Only you can make drinking tea seem creepy. That sounds like a really good time. Just don't neglect your exams. Right. Uh, hey, are you sure those aren't too heavy? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Ah! Be careful! Phew, thank you. Hey, good catch, but what now? Pray? <laughs> for that anime. I'm gonna go pick it up. It's finally happening, huh? <clears throat> Is everything okay? I'm fine. Just stressed out. Tsubaki and I have a lot riding on this project, so we have to bust our humps. It's gonna be a success. <laughs> I sure hope so. Guys, I'm home. You're pushing yourself way too hard, Chi. Maybe, but the culture fest is less than a week away. We've got a lot to do between now and then. Don't forget about your exams. They matter the most. I know they do. But still, I'm just so tired. Hmm? Hey! Psst! Chi! If you're gonna sleep, you should at least go to your room! I swear, this girl's a lost cause. I guess I'll have to stand guard till she wakes up. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what were you doing? My bad. I didn't mean to wake you up. That's not what I meant. No, yeah, of course. I didn't want you to catch a cold while you were sleeping, so I brought you that. Oh, that's sweet. But still, how long were you, you know? Uh, right, I just got here, like a minute or two ago. Maybe a bit longer. You're such a liar. Huh? He's been there since you fell asleep. How do you know? Yeah, creepster. You watched her sleep the entire time, don't deny it. <clears throat> no! He's so full of it! But, in this particular instance, I'd say you're the one who's at fault, sweetie. <sighs> I mean, here you are, sound asleep on the couch in a common area in a house full of men. I'm just saying. Maybe attention's what you want. <sighs> no, it's not. If you want my two cents, I don't blame my brother. You were asking for it. <clears throat> hey, you take that back! Uh-oh. Looks like I might have struck a nerve. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I'm right. You take back what you said right now. Or I swear I'll make you wish you had. I'm so scared. Please, don't hurt me, you big scary man. I'm begging you. Losers want to keep it down? Do me a solid here and shut your traps, will you? This city, it's the loudmouth. It's his fault. Look, dude. I don't care whose fault it is. I just want you two to shut up. If you guys have beef, then take it outside. Fine. Just so you know, you can't take anything Futo says seriously. He just likes to start trouble. You really need to unclench and learn how to take a joke before you combust. Oh, and no way she takes your word over mine, right, sweetheart? God, you're a tool. Why let him get to you like that? He sucks. And how a douchebag like Futo ends up on national television is beyond me. But you just gotta learn to ignore him. I know how, because aside from my superior level of commitment and technique, I have a face made for the screen. Unlike some voiceover actors I know, who have a face made for radio. What? Bye now. Huh? Oh. Hey, what was that for? Huh? Ah! You 
her be pop star and let her go! Oh, good morning, Azusa. How are you? I'm all right. You're up early. Yeah, culture fest is this afternoon. I've got a million things to do today. Well, I suppose busy is better than bored, right? If you're about to head out too, you should eat. Here, I'll fix you some breakfast. No thanks. I don't have much of an appetite. Why? Are you not feeling very well? I'm fine. It's this stupid headache. I just can't seem to shake it off. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm afraid there's no time for that. <laughs> Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I just feel a bit dizzy, is all. Azusa, you're pale as a ghost. You should take the day off. I really do appreciate your concern. But I, I've got a big recording session today. Azusa! You're all right. Just hang in there, okay? Don't worry. Well, that's certainly bold of you. Jumping his bones before breakfast, huh? I sure like your style, lady. Uh, wait, who the heck are you? And now, does this ring a bell? Oh, Hikaru! Yep, guess you've never seen me dress this way. Well, like a man, I mean. Yeah, what's that all about? Oh, don't you worry about it. Just curious, how long are you planning to stay like that? Uh, <gasps> Azusa, are you alright, buddy? Did you hit your head or anything? No, at least I don't think so. So how about it? What's the deal? How long has he been like this exactly? Uh, he's drenched with sweat head to toe. Plus he's got a bad fever. I think he might need some time off. No way, I can't do that. Look, there's just too much going on right now. Take a look in the mirror, bud. There is no way you can perform in your condition. If it's a project you care about, that's all the more reason. If you're not at your best, you won't be doing anyone any good. Yeah, but... You're not going. I guess one day won't hurt. The festival's about to start. <laughs> Come on, hurry up! I'm so sorry I'm running late. Here, put on your costume. Huh? What do I need to wear that for? Wait, maid? Uh-huh. Sorry, did no one call you about the change in plans? It's butler maid now. Nobody called at all. Oh, no. I'm really sorry I was supposed to tell you. I meant to call, but I totally forgot. Uh... Nearly all the guy butler end of things. We had no choice but to change our game plan. But don't worry. I'm sure everything is going to work out just fine. Mm. Uh, does this look right? Uh, yeah. Better than expected. Better than expected, huh? What the hell does that mean? Are you guys sure it's not weird? <laughs> I think you look great. Oh, you really think so? Mm -hmm. Score. I think it's pretty weird. Not the suit, really. Just that your stepsister's opinion means so much to you. Take it easy. All right, lady, you're next. Come on. Um, yeah, okay, whatever you say. Hurry! It's almost time to get started. Right, I'm coming. Sorry about that. Wow! You look great! That's awesome! Yeah, you really think so? Whoa, she looks incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the gates will be opening shortly. All classes, please make your final preparations. Be safe, and have fun out there. Look at that maid, she's so hot. <gasps> oh. Someone needs to douse you with a bucket of ice. I don't know what to say. Stunning to behold that I've completely taken your breath away. No, I'm just wondering why you're dressed up like that. I'm doing a little PR, actually. I've got a photo collection that's about to come out. It basically documents my day-to-day -day life. So they want pics of me doing my thing at Culture Fest. It goes without saying, my look was crafted by pros. Eh? We're putting on a haunted house. You should totally drop by. Please, let me suck your blood. I would, but I have to pass these out. You can't go. <sighs> Just stay for a little while. After all, I'm allowed to enjoy the Culture Fest too, aren't I? I gotta go. You have no idea how lonely it gets for me. For a pop star, every public outing is work, even the culture fest. 
Besides, coming with me won't hurt anyone. Am I right? Uh, just for a bit. Thank you. Right this way. Uh, uh. I've got something special planned for you, lady. Um, it's kind of creepy how dark it is. Personally, I think it helps establish the mood, but if you say so. Where did you go? Uh, Buto! Now I have a hot little maid all to myself. You should be more careful. Are you so naive you'll follow someone into a darkened room? Or is it that I'm... Shh, I'm afraid this is all your fault. You should be ashamed of the way you dally about with all your brothers. You won't be satisfied till you have all of us wrapped around your finger. No, you're wrong. But I have a solution. I can solve that problem. <gasps> by marking you as my own. I... Not by declaring my undying love for you. What I like, I take. And I don't need to ask your permission. You can't even tell me to stop, can you? You don't know how. Or who knows? Maybe you don't want me to stop. Fudo, please. My brothers are a bunch of idiotic saps. They've all allowed themselves to be made fools by you. Stop it! <laughs> Ow, that really hurt. What do you expect? Good point. Though I gotta admit, I'm surprised you're strong enough to knock me over. Please don't do this! All I want is for us to be a happy family! Oh, I didn't think it was possible, but I definitely like you even more when you're angry. Besides, you playing hard to get just makes the chase that much more exciting. Don't worry, you have my word, this isn't the end of you and me. Here's a present for... <gasps> Then I'm out of here. Took you long enough. We could really use your help running some food. Uh, sure. Hey, is something the matter? Oh, no. I'll start helping right away. I'm home. How'd it go? What, you didn't have any fun? Oh, no. It was lots of fun. Hey. What? Do you feel like telling me who gave you that hickey on your neck? <gasps> what, don't have anything to say? You know how painful this stuff is for me, don't you? Listen, I'm not happy about the way it happened. But I meant every single word I said to you before. So I want you to give me an honest answer. But Tsubaki, I... What exactly do you <sighs> think you're doing? Azusa. Why don't you mind your own business? She looks upset, and that makes it my business. Back off. Do the right thing and leave her alone. Are you okay? Tsubaki, listen to me. What is it with you, man? What's your deal? Why do you act all weird when it comes to her? Why are you so protective? Maybe you want the same thing I do. You're just too damn scared to admit it. You're wrong. I'm acting like this because I'm worried about you. Huh? Yeah, I act weird. Because when you treat her like this, I honestly don't know what to say. Stop being a jerk and just think. Think about how you might be making her feel. She's your family. Shut up. No, I won't. I don't care what you think anyway. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Try acting like grown men, please. This has nothing to do with you. Fine then. I suppose it's time to throw my hat in the ring. A red rose. Just for you. And only you. With love. Believe. Asahina, how busy is the ICU tonight? 
Yes, it's my younger brother. He collapsed suddenly. No, no. We have an ambulance on the way. Prep for our arrival. Oh god, Asusa. The drugs will keep him asleep until sometime in the morning. So you can call it a night and go home if you want. Okay. What do I tell Subaki? Good question. We'll need to run a bunch of tests, which means keeping him here. But his condition is stable. Let's tell him not to worry about it. Are we agreed? Agreed. Oh, well, I guess someone needs to tell Natsume. I can call and let him know if you'd like. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. It's really helped. What did you say? Hey, Subaki. I'm back for the night. How's Asusa? Looks like he'll be okay. Thank God. You must have called Natsume and told him then. Thank you. He's already talked to our manager about it. I... I couldn't think straight at all. Hey, you know what? There's this old myth I heard once. Siblings born together share one soul between them. No matter how many bodies it splits into, there's still only one soul. According to the myth, even when you're apart, you can tell what the other person is going through. The funny thing is, I used to think it was true. Sabaki. Not anymore, though. <laughs> now, I don't feel that way at all. I can't sense Azusa. It feels like he's already gone. Stop talking like that. It hurts. Right here. You say something kind to me and my heart burns like fire. I mean, ever since we met, I can't keep focused. I've lost my cool. Sorry to hear that. Listen, if I did something beyond stupid and hurt you, I know there never been honestly saved both of us from myself. And now he's sick. I'm such a jerk. Well, look, if I were stuck in your situation, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but it seems the best thing would be to tell him. Tell him what? Just tell him how you're feeling right now. There's no way. But why? After the awful things I said, I practically put him in the hospital myself. I don't think Azusa would see things that way at all. Of course he won't. I know my brother will just forgive me. And that's the point. It's because of him. That I can't forgive myself. I'm sorry. I know I don't deserve to be close to you right now. Poor Subaki. He still hasn't recovered from the shock of it all. Hmm. That boy's normal attitude really grinds my gears, but it's even worse when he's depressed. I just hope he and Azusa are able to patch things up soon. It's probably hard for them when things go wrong, because they've always been so close. Excuse me. I'm here to see Azusa Asahina. Hey, good morning. It's great to see you. Is it okay for you to be up and walking around? Yeah. And I've also been cleared to receive visitors now. That's great news. Well, I gotta go. Take it easy, okay? I will. See you soon. He needs to get some rest. Take care of him? Right. Hey, so thanks for coming out to visit me. Sure. Here's some clothes and stuff from Ukio. I really appreciate it. So, the hospital is allowing visitors? That's good news, right? Yes. He's currently in stable condition. But what does that mean? How is he? How long will he be in the hospital? Well, he's completely ambulatory now. If we're being realistic, though, he's gonna need more time. But if his recovery takes too much time, will he have to turn down his new role? For the time being, Asus's best bet is to simply focus on getting better. No fair. Is Ozzy gonna die? He's gonna be fine. I know. I'll make him a get well card. <sighs> in paradise, surrounded by dozens of angels in white. Gotta say, I'm jealous. Exactly what I'd expect from that pervert. Oh yeah, where did Sis run off to? 
She's out visiting Azusa. Under ordinary circumstances, I would have joined her, but it wasn't meant to be. Of course. Free zones. She's so helpful. She went to the hospital for me. I sent her with a care package. What? I would have gone too. You would have gone too? You weren't rushing to volunteer until you found out she'd gone. Yeah, but can you really blame the poor guy? Yo. Good morning, everyone. Hey, as of today, Oz is allowed to have visitors. Oh. Cool. Would you give it a rest? asking, but I'm going to say no. Yeah, yeah. You're already talking about finding a replacement for my brother? Think you could give him a few days to recuperate? Hey, be honest. Deep down, you want the role. <gasps> Pathetic. That kind of attitude can only hold you back. <laughs> oh, man. It's just a dream. Masaomi? You're awake. Yeah, mostly. Take this to you. Azusa. Well, he passed away. No. That can't be. <gasps> Again? Oh, man. Uh, just a nightmare. Dumb brain. Hey, Subaki. Uh, oh, hey. I just had the most awful dream. I'm so sorry, truly. But I can't go out with you, Subaki. <gasps> <gasps> Natsume! Hey, no offense, man, but what are you doing here? Oh, calm down. I just thought I'd swing by and see how you were. Stop that. Good. You felt that. So this isn't another dream, then. Traditionally, you're the one who's supposed to get pinched. Yeah, so, according to Masaomi, I have a condition known as meningitis. What's that mean? Meningitis? <clears throat> to put it in layman's terms, it's basically a disease that causes the membrane around the brain to swell. Wow, sounds awful. That seems pretty serious. Yeah. But with treatment, I'm told I can expect almost no after effects. They said with modern medicine, I don't have much to worry about. Oh, good. What a huge relief. As far as work's concerned, the timing couldn't be and there's not much point in fretting about it. The only thing that's left for me to do now is get better as quickly as possible. I think that you're right. Oh, by the way, how are things? At home, I mean. Same as usual, I guess. So, uh... What is it? Well, he... By he, you mean Tsubaki? depressed. The whole thing's just gnawing at him. He feels responsible for everything that's happened to you. I had a feeling. He thinks he caused you too much stress. And it's all because of the situation that's developed. Situation? Yeah, you know, like with the lead role in that anime, and, uh... I have a question. I'd like to know how you really feel about Tsubaki. I... I love him just like an older brother. What about as a man? I never thought of him that way at all. That's why I'm grateful you stopped him that one evening when we ended up on the couch. Listen to me. You've got it wrong. I don't want you thinking I'm somebody told you. I was butting in because I was jealous. I'm jealous because I am in love with you. Not as your stepbrother, but as a man. Sorry. I should have kept my mouth shut. I just wanted you to know. Tsubaki's not alone. Several of us have developed those kinds of feelings for you lately. And clearly that kind of attention bothers you. I apologize. I see your room is as messy as ever. 
can't walk without stepping on something. Hey, man, would you stop trying to clean up? There's something soothing about the chaos. So, are you planning on going to the hospital to visit Azusa? I don't see why I should. What? Why the hell not? Because it's all my fault. Don't know how to fix everything I screwed up. Right, spill it. What in the world happened between you and him anyway? It's weird. I don't know. Was it over her? Look, I'm not trying to be nosy. It's just, I mean, come on, you know him. He'd never let a girl get between. When I went to visit him yesterday, he kept asking me how you were doing, as if the entire reason for me to visit was to talk about you. But he's sick, and he's worried about me? Yep, think about that. God, I'm the worst. Yeah, maybe you are the worst. The real issue, though, isn't what you did. It's what you're going to do moving forward. What can I do? If only I had some kind of a sign. Welcome back, my darling little sis. Hi, Kaname. Are you heading out tonight? Yes. Nighttime monthly duties. Oh, cool. You went to visit Azusa, isn't that right? So what did you think? Is he well? Yes, he seemed much better. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Sabaki, are you heading out too? Yeah, just for a bit. So, uh... Don't worry. I'm gonna go and pay him a visit soon. I promise I will. But there's something else I have to do before I go. It looks like Tsubaki's going to be just fine, too. Good morning, Masaomi. Hey, this one's been sitting here looking puzzled for about an hour now. Is everything all right? Asusa emailed me a list of things he wanted me to bring to the hospital, but I don't know what any of this means. Uh, oh, yeah, these are a bunch of comic and light novel titles. And everything else on the list are just anime DVDs he wants us to grab. I see. He's using this downtime to do some research for work down the line. But as a physician, I'd rather he get some rest instead. I really hate to ask, uh, but could you take care of it? I still can't make heads or tails of this list. I'd be glad to. That's a bunch of stuff. Hunting it down alone would suck. I guess I could help you out. Great, thank you. We're just doing Azusa a favor, okay? I think Masaomi is right. Azusa should probably take it easy while he's still sick. He just needs something to help waste away the time. I bet he's feeling restless. It's weird. You seem like you really understand my big brothers, you know? Better than I do in some ways. Huh? Nah, forget it. Found, Found it. it! Next stop is a video store. We have to go to a few different places to get the ones he asked for. But first, maybe we should... Huh. I missed you. Idiot. That's supposed to be my line. When you collapsed the other day, I just couldn't think straight anymore. You know? I'm sorry that I bailed. Doesn't matter anymore. Because you're here now. I'm sorry. So sorry I didn't listen to you for flat out ignoring you and being a total pain. I should have said something about it earlier. Calling you out in front of her like that? Anybody'd get upset. No. Dude, even if she wasn't there, I still would have been too defensive. I was dumb. I'm so sorry. Give yourself a break, okay? I don't blame you for any of it. It's not like I'm innocent in all this. We just got too emotionally involved. I love you, man. I'm glad they made up. I'll leave them alone. Yo! Hop on in. I'll give you- I finally went to see him. I thought he might do that. Why? Did something happen? I heard it through the grapevine around the studio the other day. The director settled on Tsubaki to replace Azusa. Wait, isn't that bad news? It'll all work itself out from here. I guess they just had to learn the hard way to be there for each other. You're right. You can call it a gut feeling. 
But I don't really need anything more concrete. I mean, we're still triplets after all. You mean the sharing one soul thing? Hmm? What are you talking about? Tsubaki told me all about it. He said siblings born at the same time share the same soul. <laughs> I imagine he was referring to his bond with Azusa, but then again, scary thought. What if I am linked up with those two weirdos? <laughs> That's what I like to see. Your smile gives us all strength. You think you can keep that positive energy? You have no idea how much it'll help. Guess I can try. Well, I'd appreciate it, because your smile's a lot easier on the eyes than mine is. Oh, goody! Big Sis is home! Are those manga? I want to see! I love manga! Pick these up just for Azusa. Oh, they're for Azusa. Yeah, I get it. What gives? I thought you were gonna give those to him. Uh, I was, but Tsubaki was there. I didn't want to disturb them. For real? Tsubaki, that's a huge relief. Yeah. Oh, by the way, to apply for a passport, you'll need the family register. So I had a copy of it sent to our offices. When you have the time, just swing by and pick it up. Oh, that was thoughtful of you. Yeah, I think that's a strong approach. Uh-huh. I wrestled with that phrasing, too. But in the previous episode, you've got the same back and forth with the chief, and... Oh, yeah. Get back to the booth. Yeah, sure. Break a leg. There you are. Well, this is a nice surprise. Hello. I brought you the DVDs and stuff you asked for. Wow, thank you. But don't tell me you bought them all yourself. I did. But I never would have found them all if Yusuke hadn't helped me out. I see. And where is he? He had planned to come with me for today's visit. But his mini-test results weren't what he was hoping for. Ugh, I hate that! So he had to stay for study group. Sounds about right. Was that a work phone call that I walked in on? Not quite. It was Tsubaki. Oh, Tsubaki? He called from the job, looking for my advice. Are you talking about the lead role in that anime? Mm -hmm. He's doing some excellent work. Rather than copying the same nuances I was going for in my reads, He's completely made the role his own on his terms, while paying homage to the groundwork I laid. From time to time, there's some line in the script. And that's just like him. I have a newfound appreciation for how talented he is. But then, there's this other feeling deep in my gut, growing slowly. What other feeling is that? I never want to lose Tsubaki. Of course not. But, I can't... I can't give up the way I feel about you. I'm through making apologies. I love you. And I'm not afraid to say it. I've been with you from the very beginning. I'm glad we can see each other whenever we want. No matter what, I'll keep on protecting you. It's complicated, but you don't have to worry. Father? <sighs> oh, Dad. Can at least answer me? That's me. What are you doing here? Um, I'm pretty sure that's my line. I got a call from the guys that you hadn't come home, so I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? I don't know. Guess I'm not worth the trouble. Where's that coming from? Come on, you gotta tell me what happened. Alright, I'll just let Ukiyo know you're safe. <laughs> Please don't call him. I don't want to go home. I'm not ready just yet. Seriously? You really won't tell me what's going on? Okay, you don't want to go home. I get it. Fine. Then would my apartment work for you? We won't have to walk too far. It'll be better than out here. Hope it's not too much of a wreck. Tsubaki, can you just give me a minute to get inside? Azusa, stop encouraging him. Those are really their names? Yeah. Why I chose them is kind of a long story. I'll fill you in sometime. 
Well, come on in. Make yourself at home. Thank you very much. You hungry at all? The drink? No, I'm fine. Well, at least go take a shower. That always makes me feel better when I'm upset. Thanks again. I'm sorry for imposing on you. Nah, never mind that. You ready to talk? You don't have to tell me if you don't want. But if you need my help, I'm right here. I appreciate that. It's really sweet. I just don't think I'm worth the trouble, though. You said the same thing earlier, too. Why would you think that? Because as soon as I got here, everyone started fighting, and, and then... There's just some other stuff. Well, brothers tend to fight. It's hard to imagine anyway. That'd be your fault. No, but if I hadn't become a part of the Asahina family... I'm sorry. <sighs> and I mean for all of us. I apologize. I had no idea things were bothering you that much. But still, nothing we did should have made you feel like you're not worth the trouble. It's not just you. Look, it's a copy of my family register. Adopted? That's right. I mean, my parents must have thought I wasn't worth the trouble. That had to be why they decided to give me away. No, there's no way that's true. Why else would my dad never say anything to me about this? Even worse, ever since he married your mother, I don't know why, but he hasn't come to see me at all. So it's him, too. I'm not even worth the trouble to my own father. I'm sorry. I can go home. I don't want to bother anyone else. I'll just see my way out. Hold on. <gasps> You're wrong, you know. All of us are lucky to be around you. Stay here. You don't have to go home. on the floor. And just to make myself clear, the truth of the matter is that the Asahina family needs you more than you seem to realize. Everyone's having these conflicts because they all care so much about you. <sighs> Believe me, they won't act like idiots forever. Things will calm down, especially considering what's happened tonight. No one wants to hurt you. Have faith in us. I know it's hard. Are you angry? About me kissing you, I mean? No. I need to be honest with you. I wouldn't have kissed you for no reason. I care about you. I know saying this isn't fair, and it'll most likely only complicate things further. But I can't... I can't keep from telling you how I feel. In the end, I'm no different from my brothers, because it turns out that I'm crazy about you, too. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to kiss you like this. It's not fair. I'll leave you alone and let you get some sleep. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Good morning. Sorry about that. I had plenty of time before I had to make it into work, so I decided to go for a quick run first. Do you go running every morning? Yeah, for the most part, I guess. I kind of feel like I owe it to attention that. Anyway, it was nice of you to cook breakfast for us. Yeah, well, I had to use up all the food in the fridge. I hope that was okay. No problem. Good. Then would you rather have an omelet or some scrambled eggs? It's your choice. Omelet sounds good. <laughs> an omelet it is. You mean to tell me those jerks get to eat stuff like this every day? Now I'm kind of jealous, man. I didn't make anything all that special. They're just eggs. Oh, now, hey, come on. You made all this yourself in no time at all. To me, that makes it the best breakfast ever. <laughs> you feeling better today? Yes, I'm not all mixed up like I was yesterday. I'm really sorry about that. You don't have to apologize. Uh, Remember, you can always talk to me. I'll be here if you ever need to.
Thank you. That means a lot. Ah! No! Tsubaki, Azusa. Man, they were so pissy. <laughs> ah, nice. There it is. Um, T? Hey, Louie. I'm gonna let him in. Do you mind? They know. Sorry, I called last night after you got in the shower. I had to at least tell them you were here. Otherwise, some... that's how worked up they all were. I didn't know everyone would be so worried about me. Well, hello there. I'm sorry, you guys. I really didn't mean to worry you. Oh, we know you didn't mean to. It's no problem. And please, no need to apologize. You're safe, so we're happy. Thank you, Louie. And you, Julie? Forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. But you, <laughs> bastard! How dare you get that G like this? You! Julie! Julie, stop it. I can't let him get away with this! No, Julie. Natsume's good. He helped. He kept Chi safe. Isn't that right? That's right. Julie, you have to believe me. Natsume helped me, that's all. Be quiet, Chi. I'm trying to punish this disgusting creature. Delicious again. Thank you for making that, Chi. It was yummy. You're welcome. So anyway, what's the deal with this Chi thing? I don't know what you mean. Oh, it's just a silly nickname. Huh. Oh, whoops. I almost forgot. What do you think? I'd love it if you would try it on. <gasps> if you want, I'll style your hair too. Wait, don't you need to be getting back to the condo sometime soon? Not necessarily. Besides, this will make her feel... Fine. I'll head over to the condo then. I can let everyone know what's going on. You okay with a little pampering? I'm good with that. Thanks, Louie. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Leave it to me. <laughs> Ooh, that looks cute, Chi. Mm -hmm. This works on you. Thank you, Louie. I love it. It's funny. I feel a million times better already. It's about all I can do right now, but I promise you this, I'm here, and I'll do whatever I can. If you need me, all you have to do is ask. Thank you. Hey, me too. Louie and I have formed the Coalition to Protect Chi, so that's our job. So tell us, about yesterday, what in the world could have upset you that much? I know this must be a shock to you too, Julie. Who would have thought I wasn't actually related to Dad, right? Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we go to the park? Huh? A boat ride. Sound fun? It's nice. Isn't it? I'm sorry. I've just been wanting to do this forever. Feel cheap. More than you know. Hmm? I was adopted. This family of ours, I'm not really related to them. What? Does that come as a surprise to you? I get it. You'd never know. But I used to live in an orphanage. When I was two, Miss Miwa was kind enough to take me in. I owe everything to her. By the time I joined the family, they had seven boys already. The ones up through Natsume know I was adopted. But the five from Subaru on down weren't born yet. They still haven't been told the truth. As a kid, there was a period of time that was really difficult for me. I was surrounded by all these brothers who were actually related. And I felt like I didn't belong. But Mom always treated me like one of her boys. I was her son. Strangely, I think that made me more conscious of it. Of the fact that I was adopted. And when you start accepting that you're different, you start noticing what makes you that way. Like they shared quirks. It was so crazy. But there I was. My quirks weren't like theirs. I wasn't one of them. I wasn't a real brother. I wasn't family. It was so hard. But I was somehow wrong. So you second guess yourself and where you belong. Then you start feeling lost. It just sucks. That about sums up the general feeling, don't you think? Or am I wrong? You're not wrong at all. Deep down, you understand you're not being logical. And yet, knowing that doesn't make it easier. Eventually, 
the way I chose to look at it changed. My mother is Miwa Asahina, and she along with her boys are my family. It took time, but I got there. She, the most important thing isn't blood. It's how you feel about each other. It's the love. The love? I don't remember anything about them. My birth parents, I mean. But with everyone in my real family, I have tons and tons of memories that I will cherish forever. All the things that have happened from when I was adopted until now. I remember everything. And you know what? You're a part of my family now, Chi. Will you do me a favor? I want you to think of me as your brother. I want you to think of all of us as your brothers. I think we should go home. Back to the condo. Because that's where our family is. We're so lucky to have you. Thank you for choosing us. to protect Chi. We spring into action whenever needed. Our only job is to protect you. Julie is absolutely right. Thank you, Louie. You too, Julie. Chi. <laughs> oh, look at him. I think he can finally relax now. Poor little guy. He didn't get much sleep. He was practically beside himself with worry last night. Oh, I had no idea. I'm feeling a little tired myself. <laughs> You're so sweet. I didn't mean to make you worry. I'm sorry. Chi? Chi. <gasps> it's me. Julie. <gasps> it might be hard for you to believe, but it really is. You... It definitely seems strange, but I know it's you somehow. You're Julie. I've always wanted to see you face to face. And I wanted you to see me as a true companion for you. Now my dream has come true. First things first, I need to apologize to you. Apologize for what? Did you forget? I've been around your entire life. I know everything about your past. <gasps> the truth about your biological parents is they passed away, one after the other, not long after you were born. Rintaro stepped in and took care of you as if you were his own. He raised you. He did it all on his own. And he gave you his whole heart. He loves you, Chi. Don't ever question it. You are his real daughter. I know it's been on his mind, telling you the truth. He just couldn't figure out how. He didn't want you to doubt his love. I didn't want that either. That's why I never said anything. I couldn't. Please believe me. Our fault was loving you too much. For any grief I've caused you, I'm so sorry. Mm -mm. I'm happy that you told me. But what really matters is that you and Dad are my real- All the time I've been able to spend with you, all the memories together, they're incredibly special to me. And now, I'll treasure this moment as well. I can treasure this too. Oh, Julie, you've always been there by my side. Thank you for that. <sighs> I love it when you smile. It's all I ever want to see you do. I didn't intend to say any of this to you, but there is something I need you to know. I love you, Chi. Was that just a dream? It must have been. I heard what happened. I'm sorry for putting you through this grief. I want to sit down and talk with you. I'll be returning to Japan soon. Dad. It's the same. What I saw in my dream. 
really sorry. I never wanted to worry you. We're just glad you're home. Welcome back. Hope you're feeling better. I'll make a few phone calls and let everyone who's out know that you're back. I'm so sorry. Welcome home. Yeah, I'm glad you're alright. We were freaking out. Don't ever do that again, okay? Yay! <sighs> be prepared to be punished for worrying me. <sighs> it's a note from Futo. That's enough, Wataru. Give her room to breathe. I bet you're tired. Oh, no. You sure you don't want to rest for a little while? I haven't made dinner yet, so you have plenty of time. No, please. Let me make dinner tonight. <laughs> I was hoping I could. As you wish. Yay! Can we have hamburger steak, please? Wait, I think I want to eat curry, too. I know. How about hamburger steak curry? Is that okay? Can you make that? Sure, I can make us hamburger steak curry. Yay! I don't mind helping if you want. <laughs> the most important thing isn't blood. It's how you feel about it. What Louis said is right. And I think that means I should be open with everyone. If I'm ever going to be able to make memories with them as a family, that's the only way it can be done. Yeah, okay. I think I can do this. Huh? <laughs> I love it when you smile. It's all I ever want to see you do. Whenever you're upset, come and talk to me. I'll ease your pain. I decided to make an effort to be open with a real family. The truth of the matter is that the Asahina family needs you more than you seem to realize. Everyone's having these conflicts because they all care so much about you. Chi, the most important thing isn't blood. It's how you feel about each other. It's the love. how quickly summer came. The good news is Azusa's home, safe and sound. Are exams getting you down? Because I have a revelation. A revelation? What's that? Check it out. You see, since the overseas trip got scrapped, I thought some time away might be just what we need. Club Buddha? That seems weird. It's not weird, it's Buddhist. The head temple of our sect is in Yatsugatake. The monks put on a little festival there every year. 
What about these two guys posing with you? You don't think that's weird? They're my colleagues, fellow monks of the Order. Though naturally the most handsome, dynamic, and extraordinary of the bunch is yours truly. Uh, I'll champ by your bedside all night long. Big boot 11 till the sun comes up. Hey, let's pass into Nirvana together. You can be a man of faith or a gentleman of the night, but you can't be both at the same time. Hints of approval from the head temple. It's all on the level, I swear. Hey, relax. It's just a little summer festival. There's nothing for anyone to get worried about. Yes, that's exactly right. I can always count on you, buddy. Can I go, please? Sure. In fact, I'm thinking it might be more fun if we all went together. I'm so disappointed. Hey, I know this place. It's close to our vacation home. Vacation home? Oh, you didn't know about that? One of our family getaways is not too far from the festival. Lana? Yeah, we have several. Wow. So, what do you say? Should we go? Sounds amazing. I've never been on a family vacation. Hey, I'll come too, just to watch your back. Good plan. Great. Let's let everyone know. And whoever can make it is welcome to join us. Even though I still hold my belief that he's an impious pervert, I suppose I'm okay with it. Kaname? Hmm? Good idea. Uh. <laughs> well, I see you've decided to dress as a man again. I look fabulous either way, right? True. We'd better get going. If we don't hurry, we'll be late. We can't leave yet. Subaru's on the phone. Give him just a minute. Wait, I don't see Kaname either. He had a lot of work to do to get the festival ready, so he left yesterday. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, how was the call, do you think? All right, then. Guess we'll see. Wonder what they're Guys, talking about. Hit the road? Summer festival, here we come! Hey, have fun. Wait, aren't you coming with us? I was, but then I remembered I scheduled my prep school summer course at the exact same time. Bummer! Yeah, I know. I wish I could go with you guys. But the truth is, my grades aren't exactly up to par. The vacation's fun and all, but exams matter more. <sighs> Besides, I really want to go to the same college as you. Well, well good luck then. Have a blast for me. <sighs> so who's riding with me? Got plenty of room in here. Count me in. Terrific. Anyone else? <laughs> I bet you want to ride with me, yeah? Sure. Is something wrong? No. It's just that all of a sudden I feel like maybe I forgot something. I wouldn't worry. Being out of your element is part of the thrill of going on a trip to somewhere new. Well, coming from a seasoned traveler like you, that certainly makes me feel better. By the way, do you mind if I ask you something? No, please. Spoiler alert, it's sort of person. Nothing happened, right? Dude! Sorry, was that awkward for me to ask? I guess that depends on what the answer is, doesn't it? Gee, thanks, bro. No, obviously nothing happened. We're family after all, right? Uh, yeah. You don't have to go home. Huh. One more thing. I can't wait to hear it. Did something happen between you and Azusa? <laughs> Watch it! Things certainly do seem to be lively in the other car, don't they? That's because Hikaru's in there. Yeah, for sure. Hey, why are you asking that? Why does it bother you? I think that's a very good question. Look, nothing happened. I was sick as a dog. True, he really wasn't well. Of course. Not to mention all the nurses around everywhere. But if you wanted some privacy, there's always the rooftop. <laughs> I'm through making apologies. I love you, and I'm not afraid to say it. Oh, come to think of it. I'm so happy there's more. Where's that little creature of yours? <gasps> Gee, you forgot me. How could you forget me? Sorry, but we've already left the city. You guys really are fun, you know that? Zukio. He said he'd rather clean the vacation house than be here, at this obscene, ungodly festival. You guys, I'm gonna stop by and say hello to Kaname's boss. So, from here on out, everyone's on their own. Awesome! Then I'm gonna hang out with you, sis! Uh, do you mind looking after him for me? 
No, please. All right. I'm going to have five shaved ice, blue and pink. Well, it looks like the youngest of the herd is the most aggressive one of all. <laughs> shaved ice is the best thing ever. That's your third one tonight. Careful or you'll give yourself a stomach. Hurry up, guys. Oh, are we going to miss it? Not if we move our butt. What's up? I don't know. Let's see. find any nice boys? What about me, then? Oh, no thanks. Uh, Club Buddha? Hey, you're a monk, right? Then I guess you must work with Kaname at the Buddhist temple. Kaname? There you are. I'm really glad you were able to make it. What's the deal? Please don't tell me this girl's one of your customers. No, Chi, of course she's not. This young lady right here is my sister. Your sister? Um, did you just call him Chi? Oh, yeah. His real name's Chiaki, but that's a bit of a mouthful. So we just call him Chi. He's one of my colleagues from the Buddhist temple. Nice to meet you. And it's nice to finally meet the little sister Kaname is so proud of. <gasps> it's true. The adorable little sister I'm so proud of. Well, well. <sighs> if it isn't number two and number three together, fighting over a cute customer, I have no doubt. Ah, hello, Ryusei. As a matter of fact, she's not a customer. She's Kaname's sister. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. And this is Club Buddha's number one monk. Name's Ryusei. It's a pleasure. Oh, I feel immediately. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you both double-booked some clients. You're in big trouble. <laughs> Why didn't you say something sooner? I'll see you later on. I gotta go fix this. I hope he's okay. Oh, he'll be just fine. You know, when Kaname found out about you, he was beyond excited. Was he really? That's nice to hear. Must be exhausting, the good little sister act. Huh? I'm a monk, remember? Might not seem that way, given how I look. But I pick up on this stuff, people's trouble and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Right. Thing is, it doesn't matter who you are. Because we're all the same. And we're all troubled by the same thing. Me too. It's human nature, after all. Know what it is? Uh. It's love. Always love. And it doesn't really matter what form the love takes. Since ancient times, it's always been a thorn in our side. Don't you agree? I'm impressed. You totally sound like a real monk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that to sound so offensive. There's no point in trying to run away from love. Instead, just be yourself and confront it head on. Because a family can love is. Be myself and confront it. I love you, and I want you. I won't let anyone else have you. I love you, and I'm not afraid to say it. In the end, I'm no different from my brothers, because it turns out that I'm crazy about you, too. I don't know how to say this, but I... I want... need... you to be with me. Besides, I really want to go to the same college as you. Not by declaring my undying love for you. What I like, I take. And I don't need to ask your permission. Even though it wasn't always right, they were at least being honest, confronting their feelings. The only one who's been running away is me. Sis! Uh, hey! Hey, Wataru. You feeling better? Yep, it's okay. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. I wish you the best. What's the matter, big sis? Thanks for everything, guys. I seriously don't think the festival could have gone better. 
Thanks for being there. Just because we're brothers really pisses off my agents. But you were the best part of the festival! <laughs> like you know, you left early. Yeah, because of the snow cones! I'm very happy to hear you all enjoyed yourselves today. You should have come too, Ukio. You would have had fun. Yeah, right. I'm sure you mean that. No kidding. Hey, why don't you two just mind your own business? No telling what'll happen when we get together, but it's always interesting. We ain't driving you crazy yet, little lady. Or is it fun? Fun? Although... Hmm? I don't know. I'd like to become a part of this family in a meaningful way. <gasps> but you already are. Don't you know that? You being here has been a blessing for all of us. He's right! You're the coolest! That means a lot to me. But... See, the thing is, I want all of us to be even closer. What gives? Did you achieve some kind of enlightenment at our temple? <laughs> Trouble sleeping? Uh, hey, Kaname. I was just looking at these beautiful stars. You don't get to see stuff like this in the city. No, you sure don't. You're the festival today. It meant a lot to me that you were there. But, how about a tiny favor in return? <laughs> Let me hold you. Stay here with me for a while. Is that... a sword? Yeah. You ever heard the saying, the pen is mightier than the sword? It means that in the end, words will always transcend violence. However, in this world, there's something even more powerful than pens and swords and everything else combined. And that thing is love. Your love of family came across back there, loud and clear. But tonight, I need you to know how I feel. What? You thanked me for inviting you today, but I'm the one who should be saying thank you. <gasps> You're precious. I just hope you understand how much you mean to us. stupid speech meant nothing to me. Because you are mine. Don't you know that? <laughs> I tried. I really did. I already gave you your chance. The thing is, I want all of us to be even closer. <laughs> it's too hot. You're up awfully early, aren't you? You mind turning that down? I'll freeze my tits off in here. What the hell are you talking about? This heat is killing me. It's cool outside. And the windows have been open all night long. Did something happen to you? Mind your own business. I'm fine. I didn't do anything. Oh, good morning. Futo? Well, the bratty one is like a cat in heat. Clean and refreshing. I really wish Jilly was here with me, though. Hey! You almost fell. Yeah, good catch. Are you hurt or anything? No, I'm okay, actually. What are you doing out here? Oh, uh, a little training. But we're here. Do you have a minute? Uh, I guess so, yeah. I don't know if you know this or not, but Japan has a pretty decent professional basketball league. Yeah? Yeah. And the thing is, I'm being scouted by one of the teams. That's neat. Hey, is that who you were on the phone with yesterday? Right. If I say yes, then I get to play ball professionally. That's really great. Yes and no. Uh, 
You see, the offer's from a team in Kyushu. I definitely want to be a pro. Just not so far away. Because I'd never see you. I'd ask you to come with me, but I know you have entrance exams to study for. Um, I think you need to focus on what's best for your professional career and not worry about me. I don't want you to quit basketball, and I don't think you do either. I shouldn't have anything to do with your decision. Okay. I appreciate you being honest with me about this. It means a lot, and I guess I have some things to think about. Thanks. We'll have breakfast just as soon as Subaru gets back. Okay. Sounds good. I'll put something together then. Thank you. By the way, there's somewhere special we'd like to take you on our way back home. Is that all right? Sure. This is where your real parents are buried. <gasps> we found out from Rintaro recently. Uh. We asked him about it, because I guess we wanted to pay our respects too. the dry run, but ace the real deal. That's part of the entrance exam blooms. Really? And how many exams have you taken? Yeah. Just a second. Yes? Hey, can you spare a couple minutes? Sure, what's up? Just thought of a way to help out with your studies. I made us brunch. <laughs> wow, you really made all of this? Yes, and since I had a few assistants today, I thought it'd be appropriate to go all out. Yeah, we practically worked our fingers to the bone, you old meanie. And yet somehow you still prove completely useless. Sorry, this make lunch for us. Hey, not a problem. Huh? The entrance exams are less than a week away, after all. We really don't mind picking up a bit of the extra slack if it helps you and Yusuke out over the next couple of days. So why do I feel like I had to do just as much work around here as I normally do? That's right. I meant to wish you luck on your entrance exams, too, bro. You could sound a bit more sincere, even if his chances are abysmal. Let's be supportive. Dude! <laughs> Yay! She smiled! We totally did it, guys! All right! What? You were super sad when your test results came back with such a low grade, so we all decided to try and cheer you up! Wataru! <sighs> uh... Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. You've all been so considerate of my feelings. But I'll be fine, promise. I've applied to a safety school, and I can still get a major in the field I want to study there. So it's no big deal in the long Now wait a damn minute! Second best is unacceptable. Don't give up before you've even tried. I didn't mean that. There are always things that won't go your way. That's just part of life. But no matter how hopeless it might seem, there's always a chance if you don't give up. I'm applying to Meiji with no safeties. If I study hard enough, they have to take me. I know you can get in, too. For someone who barely passes any of his evaluations, I really admire your new attitude. Are you really going for your top choice with no safeties? That sounds incredibly reckless, which is heartless. Great, thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm gonna do it just to spite you guys. Yusuke's right. I refuse to give up, too. I'm going to study hard and get into Meiji with you. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. Together. College? You? Yeah, right. Wow, thanks, kid. I love you, too. Lucky. To help out, I made you this super cool present. You made a present? Yep. Here you go. That's the helper ticket. And the play a game together ticket. One more. 
Here you go. The hundred smooches. <coughs> oh, uh, it's the thought that counts. Why you look weird? What happened? Cool. All done. I don't know. Seems like it would create an emotional disconnect from the previous scene. Yeah. This whole chunk has nothing to do with the through line. I'd see what the director thinks about it. Guess that's the only shot I've got. Director's a real O-Tour type. I don't want to screw anything up. Hmm? Hi, guys. Are you two heading out? Yeah. We've both been scheduled for some voiceovers. The studios are in the same direction, so we figured maybe we could share a ride. Besides, I needed to go over the script a few times more. So I asked my dear brother if he could give me a lift. Well, that's sensible. <sighs> There. Sorry, I need to step outside and call the director. Sure thing. I'll grab the keys and follow along. Cool, thanks. Ciao. Yeah, see you later. Tsubaki certainly changed, don't you think? Huh? It all started when I was sick and he took over my role for me. It's like he's way more serious about his acting since then. And the people at the studio are noticing. I'm glad for him. Being able to make your own way in the job of your dreams is totally awesome. I've seen how hard you've been studying, you know. Keep up the good work and you'll be the same as him one day, right? Right, I won't let you down. I've never seen Tsubaki so focused before. It's bad luck that your health kept you from playing the part, but I'm excited he'll get to play the role he always wanted. Oh, is that what you think happened? I believe there's an entirely different reason for his newfound drive. No. The person Tsubaki has become is more captivating than he ever was before. So when you think of him, see the man he is now, not the boy he used to be. And who knows, that might push me to accomplish more as well. Um, okay. I hope you'll take that into consideration when you find an answer to the way we feel about you. <laughs> and no matter what answer you give, I'll accept it with grace. I told you before, I was approached by a scout for the pros. I decided to accept the offer. <gasps> they asked me to come to their headquarters. So I'm heading off to Kyushu for final negotiations. I'm leaving today. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you! Looks like I'll have to be out there for quite a while. And by the time I get back, you'll be finished with your exams. I feel bad because you're applying for my school. But I won't be able to help out. Oh, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Listen. I know your score's dropped. Don't let that get you down. All of the hard work you've put in will pay off big time. <laughs> Thanks. It may be tough, but I know you'll get by. Just stay strong. And that stuff with me, it can wait until you're done. <sighs> so, yeah, I should get going. Oh, sure. Have a nice flight. And good luck to you, too. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll do my very best. I owe everyone that much. And at long last, the day of the entrance exam was upon us. Gee! What is it? Do you have your exam pass ready? I've got it. What about your pin case? Did you grab that? Yes, I've got it right here, okay? You see? Oh no, it's empty! Now calm down, Chi! It's pretty rich coming from you! Here's a pin! No, no, wait, that's me! Oh, coming! Good morning, you ready? I guess so. Good luck. I have to head out for the day now, but I wanted to come by and be supportive. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Me too, she needed some good vibes. What's wrong? Louie! Stray hair. There, I'm all done. I like having my hair in place. Makes me feel sharper. <laughs> <laughs> That's Louie for you. He understands all that self-confidence crapola. Yep, yep. And there's this. It was sitting in front of your door. How pretty, Iori. Faith in good things to come.
Your packed lunches. Thanks a lot, Ukiyo. Thanks. Just try to keep yourselves relaxed, all right? But don't be so relaxed that you can't give it everything. And do double check your work for random mistakes. Ah, uh, they say you should always go with your first instinct when taking a test. Either you studied well and know it, or you didn't and don't. What do I know? I'm just a lawyer. Well, our charming sister is one thing. But you'd better go over your work with a fine-tooth comb. Thanks for the confidence. <laughs> it's finally time. When you're done, I'll have a reward for you. So good luck. Thanks, Natsume. <gasps> Who's this? Hello? Nice. I'm putting in the effort to call during my break at work. The least you could do is pick up faster. Fudo? If I remember correctly, you're taking your big test thing today. And so, my gift is the honor of hearing my sexy voice. But if you fail, you can always stay back another year. Then you and I can have a lot of fun being in the same class together. Great. Did you just call to tease? Uh, are you still there? Seriously, though, good luck. I'll be cheering you on. <gasps> Can't believe he took the time just to call me. I wonder if he really meant what he said or if he was... Kate. Okay. They each have different ways of doing it, but everyone's rooting for me. Because that's what families do. They support each other. And once the college entrance exams are over... That will open the door to a whole new adventure. The test is over and done with, but I can't relax until the results come in. What an adorable sigh you have, <laughs> little sister. Don't scare me like that. I didn't know you'd gone out. Yeah, I've got a thing or two on my mind at the moment. Mm -hmm. But tell me, I'd like to know why you were sighing like that just now. It's no big deal. It's just that every time I think about my test results, I get so nervous. About failing? It can really go either way, as far as I could tell. Gotcha. Allow me to offer you a tiny bit of advice. Though it has been quite a while, almost a decade since my exam. But anyhow, if things don't work out, you can always come to my place. How's that sound? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure the flower Iori gave me will bring me more than enough luck to pass. <laughs> Iori, huh? Yeah, he gave me an iris. Apparently in the language of flowers, it means faith in good things to come. I see. Is there something the matter? Nothing. Right, I'm heading inside. It's cold. You should head in too. Don't want to get sick? Sure. In a bit. <laughs> the language of flowers is tricky. That iris you gave her, it has another meaning than the one she's been told. I will risk everything. All for your love. Yeah, that was what I needed. When we're done here, we should try some of the other games. Just let me have this break. It's hard to lose ten rounds straight on a game I helped develop. That one's pretty tough. I think we're probably going to have to lower the difficulty of the next one. Speaking as a game maker, if we used you as the benchmark, the average player couldn't keep up. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. I'm not that good. You beat me, so I'd rather say you are, if that's okay. <laughs> this is nice. I'm glad you agreed to come here. Yes, very nice. I've been dying to check this place out ever since I heard they opened. Yeah, I figured. Told you I had a reward for after exams. And there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, really? Like what? Are there other games? you wanted to take a crack at? Huh? Well, let's see. Yeah, there are like a ton, so it'd be hard to choose just one. Whatever we miss, we can come back and try. Great! And we should come here with everyone next time. The last game we played could have ten people at a time playing against each other. Good grief. Are you planning on beating the crap out of the whole family next time? It wouldn't be a total beatdown. Yusuke might give me a good run for my money. Oh, I bet Subaru's probably not bad either. 
He made it into the pros after all, so he's got to have pretty good reflexes. The pros? What are you talking about? What? Wow. Oh, boy. Subaru is negotiating with a professional basketball team right now. I'm sorry. I thought you knew. I didn't. I guess he has been working hard. Sure. Thank you so much for today's treat. I had a really great time. Next round, we celebrate your results. Don't say that. You'll jinx it. But really, this whole entrance exam experience has just been so stressful. It makes me appreciate how nice it is to have such sweet brothers. Oh, that reminds me. Wasn't there something you wanted to talk with me about? Nah, maybe another time. I'm just glad I got you to unwind a little bit. Anyway, you better get going. I'll see you later. Okay. I hope everything's all right. I wonder what he wanted to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. I can't stifle it any longer. I don't know if this is the right thing or not, but I refuse to ignore these feelings. Listen, I think I'm falling in love with... What the hell is this? Subaru? Back off! Hey, calm down. Didn't you hear me? I said back off! <laughs> Are you all right? What were you playing at? You have to stop this. Natsume was just... It's fine. Okay, I'll come right out and say it then. I think I'm falling in love with you. You're joking. Not at all. There's no way I'm going to lose to some worthless quitter like you. I was in track and field all the way up until college. But in the end, I chose to quit. Subaru always looked up to me before that. I tried to play it cool, act like I didn't miss it so he wouldn't feel bad, but... I think pretending not to care just made him disappointed in me. And now, a not-so-little brother got called up to the majors. Guess that's the payoff for all his hard work. I think you might have been a pretty big factor in it, too. No way. I didn't do anything at all. Either way, I'm not giving up this time. I can't. No need to answer now. You can take your time. I'm here. Sorry, but could we do this some other time? I'm still worked up. I just thought you should know. When I told Natsume you were going to be a professional basketball player, he was happy for you. <laughs> I figured you might want to know. See ya. Listen, that guy's not a kid. He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, Masaomi. I thought you'd like to know we heard from Subaru. Oh, really? That's great. It's about time. He said he's just going to be staying put at the university for a while. And that he didn't want us to worry. I see. 
This is a big year, I guess. Subaru is clearly having a major turning point in his life. Kaname is going into more training at the head temple. And Iori is set to study abroad, so it looks like he'll be leaving too. <sighs> it's good. They're all dealing with some positive changes. Maybe so, but it still seems kind of lonely to me. We're breaking apart. I get it. But I think that's just how things go with families. After all, everyone will have to leave this little nest eventually. Sure, it can seem lonely, but if this house can always feel like home and be a place the family comes back to, well, that doesn't sound so bad. And of course, that includes you. Good. Here. Uh... day came when the university announced who had been accepted. Oh, my heart's pounding. I'm too scared to look. All right! <laughs> I found your number! What? You did it! You did it! I'm so happy for you! Thanks, and ouch. Huh? Oh, crap, I'm sorry. Well, don't be. That was too sweet. You were as happy for me as you would have been for your own acceptance. Uh, yeah, of course I was, because this is your thing. Please, please let Yusuke have been accepted, too. <laughs> no luck for me. What are you gonna do, right? Just wait. I'll get accepted next year for sure. I have to if I'm gonna go to college with you. That's very true. <laughs> Bummer. So Yusuke didn't make it in? No. And it's weird. He checked on me first. Maybe to be considerate? Yeah, I bet he wanted me to have a chance to be happy just in case he didn't get in. He's rough around the edges, sure. But I could see him having that kind of compassion. My darling. Congratulations on your acceptance. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Kaname. I wanted you to know that I'm leaving for a while. I have some more training to do. I know. Masaomi told me about it earlier. But I don't understand. What do you need to get more training for? Funny story there. I need to overcome my worldly desire for you, sis. I didn't realize. Believe me, after this I'll be the big brother that you deserve. Now huh? what do you look so upset for? This is my problem to deal with, not yours. Oh, one more thing before I go. Can you call me big bro, just this once? <laughs> I'm teasing you. Okay, I'm off. I'll see you later. Big bro. <laughs> Iori also took the time to tell me he was going to be leaving the house, too. I was wanting to ask you if, well, if you don't mind, would you water the flowers for me? Of course. I want you to care for these in particular. Sure, what kind of flowers are they? They're called forget-me-nots. Forget-me-nots? I don't want you to... Forget about me. Uh, silly as... One day, I know we'll see each other again. Hmm? Can't you sleep, Chi? All the brothers leaving the house one after another is stressing me out. I can't keep from thinking and worrying about them. You know you can't be responsible for them. Besides, there comes a time for everyone to grow up and make their own way in life. No! No! I lost again! Hey, Wataru. You know what? You could maybe use the fastest formula car this next time. I've been wanting to try out a classic car, personally. I can't do that! I've got to win by skill alone! It's true! I'm gonna work super hard at school and at my video games. Then I'll be, oh, I don't know, CEO or something. And someday I know I'll be a man who's worthy of your love. You're so cute. Hey, Chi, you doing all right? I talked to Julie. He said you weren't sleeping because you were upset. I bet that's Subaru and everyone else who left's fault. <laughs> it's not just you. I lost two of my most important clients, you know. Job relocation, thing. Even after they moved, they promised to come back and visit me. If 
people genuinely care about you as a person, I think they'll always come back to you. So here we are. Both of us are someone people really care for. Lucky us. You know what? You're right. You know the brothers in this house now, so you also know they don't want to make your life hard. Everyone here loves you, Chi. I swear it. They're going to pull through for you. Just have some faith. Can you try? If not for you, then for me. Sure. <laughs> Come on, sis. Can we play one more round, please? <laughs> it's Tsubaki and Azusa. You may be busy with your graduation ceremony coming up. But if you're up for it, how about the three of us go have fun together next Sunday? To celebrate your college acceptance. Wait, the three of you? That's interesting. What do you think it means? Maybe those silly fools have finally given up on you. I have to go. I need to tell Tsubaki and Azusa how I really feel, and the sooner the better. I could ride that one over and over and never get bored. How about you? Having a good time? Yes. I've never been to a place like this with my family before. The view here is incredible. I think we caught it at the perfect time, right before it gets dark. Oh yeah, plus it's just us three, which is kind of the best after all. Absolutely. <laughs> You guys? Yeah, what, what is, is it? it? Jinx. <laughs> you two really are close, aren't you? You keep saying the same things today. Of course we are. Yep. The thing is, ever since I became a part of your family, a lot of really crazy things have happened. There have been several arguments, and those issues weren't a problem before I came. I want you to know that I've thought about this. About you both, and the things you've told me separately, and... Then I realized what mattered most. And what was that? I'd be interested to hear it too. What matters is that I genuinely love you, both of you. But I love you just as my brothers. And I simply can't return the love you feel for me. Don't apologize, we understand. <laughs> Nevertheless, there's something we need to make sure to say. Something that we need to make sure you recognize. No matter how you feel, we'll still love you forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry when I left. Oh, no. I'm glad you came home, though, and that you're okay. That day, when I punched Natsume and stuff, I feel guilty about it. <sighs> Everything was all mixed up. I knew that I needed to apologize, but I couldn't manage to do it. I can't believe how selfish I was. Whenever I think about it, I can't help but be ashamed of myself. I never... I wasn't thinking about anyone. I was so wrong, and I'm sorry. I know that words won't be enough to earn your forgiveness, but still, I had to come back here to apologize to you. Anyway, that's it. Subaru, thank you for saying that, for being completely honest, and it's okay. Good. Right now I've still got a long way to go, but I promise you I will get there one day. I'm going to be a good man for you. For 
finally graduating. Yeah, I feel like it all went by so fast. Right, and you're off to college. But I hope we can stay in touch. Oh. Surprise! Congratulations! Um, what's this? It's a surprise party, doofus. Well, you two gonna come inside? Whoa! Wow, it looks great! And super tasty! Oh, Yusuke, get that. What? Wait, am I not having a party thrown for me right now? Well, technically, but you were more like an afterthought. Did you seriously just call me an afterthought? <sighs> Yusuke, what's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost or something. Here, look. What is it? Backup candidate acceptance. <gasps> nice! You did it! You got accepted! Good for you, man. Yeah, congrats. Now we really do have a reason to celebrate. See, all that hard work paid off. Yusuke? Okay, I really got waitlisted. <laughs> so, like, for real though? I mean, it's a real acceptance letter? Like, uh... Basically, I'm wondering if this means I get to go to the same college that you're going to. From what I understand, yes. Really, like, for real? That's right, really, like, for real. Okay, understood. So what you're saying... Awesome. <laughs> All right, that's a relief. I'm not a loser. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that compared to my other brothers, I wouldn't amount to much. But this whole process helped me figure something out. I'm good at tons of stuff. And I was right, so I'm not gonna give up ever again. Good speech. Nothing like awkward to start a party, yeah? That's for sure. Now who's hungry? Hell yeah! Who's an afterthought now? <laughs> it's Pudo. What does he want? Uh, he said that he wants me to turn on the TV. Okie dokie. Okay, folks at home, we're gonna see if we can call a Futo on this feed. Hey, Futo. Hey, everyone. Now, from what I understand, there's someone you're hoping to get a message to today. Is that right? Yes. My sister actually graduated high school today. I wanted to congratulate her since I couldn't be there. Okay. First, congratulations. I also wanted to say thanks for all the good times you've given me. I know there'll be more. Better get ready. Finally, I have a declaration for all of you. I can never see myself belonging to any one person. But I will do whatever it takes so that you'll want to belong to me. And I never give up either, so you better watch out. <laughs> All right, a cryptic message for his fangirls to tweet about for months. You've got to be kidding me. That was not a message for his fans, not at all. He's a jerk. Yeah, he pisses me off. <laughs> As for who turned off the TV? Well, I never did find out, even after the party was over. Hey, do you have a second? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Of course. I've finally come to a decision. A decision? Yes. I'm just not ready to get into a relationship with anyone. After I came here, a lot of things happened I wasn't prepared for. I was shocked and honestly didn't know how to respond. It seemed easier not to address any of it, which only ended up making things worse. So, but I could have done better. Please understand, to me, you're all my brothers. And what matters the most is that the entire family is happy. At the time, I thought my choices were helping, but I was wrong. I should have expressed myself clearly a lot earlier. Yeah, that makes sense. I get it. It's not going to be awkward now, is it? Of course not. We won't let it be. This family is too important, and I love you guys. Good, I'm glad. I'm sorry. Have a good night. Wait. I think I should be clear about one thing. No matter what, I will still love you. In fact, I don't think I'll ever stop loving you. 
I wish I could. More than you know. I'm sorry. Right here, and I always will be. Good night. You got hit by a counter offensive. Oh, it takes some strength to turn down people's declarations of love. No joke. I think your response was on the money. The greatest part is that it's sure to allow everyone to be hopeful. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? Let me take a wild guess. Your goal was to put an end to all the drama you've been dealing with. Well, I think you inadvertently made them love you more. I hope not. You see this? I was looking forward to seeing who'd win you over, so I put together an odds chart. An odds chart? Yep. But now after hearing what you said, it seems my odds chart is pointless. That's kind of a bummer. All that hard work for nothing. So now, a new, more exciting race will have to begin. In other words, our little brother's conflict is going to last a while longer. Should be a good time, though. After all, I'll be entering the race myself. <gasps> I hope you have a good evening. You might as well enjoy this moment of peace while you have it. What's wrong, Chi? Did something happen with those boys again? No, but I did finally tell them how I felt. You seem like it's all got you pretty down. But I know you'll be fine. Remember, Chi, I'm here to protect you, and I'll do everything I can to make you happy. Hey, Julie, have you ever... Hmm? <sighs> Never mind me. I'm not certain about anything, and maybe there will be times when my heart wavers. But someday, I know for sure, I'll be a real sister to all of them. We'll be a real family. you moved out of the condo. <laughs> I did. Just wanted to see her face again. You know, I'm gonna win her heart eventually. Oh yeah? How? Because I respect her and the way she feels and I won't force the issue. So down the road a bit, when she is ready for a relationship, I'll be right there. She'll know I was the one who stood by her side and I'm the man for her. Well said. All right, man. You win. I'll leave her be for now. For real? But don't think that means I'm giving up. Just watch. She'll choose me eventually. Yeah, you think so? There they are, going at it again. You think so? They look kind of like they're getting along. As long as they're distracted, it works.